Hey everybody. How's it going? It's time to continue game clearing spring cleaning. And tonight, we are back to Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. We haven't been here for, I think it's about a month? No, it wasn't, it might actually be almost exactly a month. Let me double check that. But either way, this was uh, a game we were playing in February for uh, a long time sub pick. I believe this was Seraphim 2000's pick. And uh, we didn't end up finishing it by the end of February. And in March was March Madness, so we did Luigi's Mansion, and then the whole mess of schedule shifting happened there, so we're gonna continue this now. Yeah, March 16th was the last time we played this, so this has been a month and, and two days. Yeah, so we're behind a little bit. So it's gonna take a bit to see how far we got and see if we can get comfortable with the game again, but uh, let's continue, shall we? Surgery, Lies, and Outlaws, the hunt for 20,000 bucks. So we are trying to get money for our life-saving life saving surgery for ourselves. We have, uh, which button, there we go. We have no current bounties. Move on to the next town so you can take more bounties and earn moolah for your operation. We've got 7,000 bucks on hand. Our name is Miss Scarlet because we were playing Clue a lot at the time. Here's our ammo. We got 599 bees. 15 of those uh, hard shells. Actually a little bit low on the... Uh, the third one. What the, I can't even remember what half these things were now. It's got stamina regenerator, small stamina boost, medium, and a bunch of clip extenders. Look at our actual ammo. Fuzzles, we got 23. Zap flies are infinite. Chip punk, we have full. Bolomites are full. Stunks, we're missing five. We got 599 sting bees. We got one and nine boom bats. Oh, so the explosive ones. That's what I'm missing. And thug slugs and fuzzles. I miss you too, babe. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, wait. Six hours you're getting on the plane? Oh, God. I was wondering why you were... Like, I forgot you were getting in so late. Or, sorry. I forgot you were leaving so late, rather. It will go good, sweetheart. You'll be home soon. Oh, all right. This is our spin in circles button. This is our headbutt button. All right. All I remember is that we had to go through here. What do you think you're doing? So I guess I can move on now, eh? I'm afraid that's really all there is to this little town. I assure you, though, adventure will come to you if you keep moving on. Okay. Let me just spin my way there. Like a beautiful ballerina. Ballerinas grunt this much, right? Thud slugs and zap flies to get bosses alive. I think that's actually what my current... Oh yeah, that's literally what my current ammo is. So don't worry, we're, we're still set for that apparently. If you were not here for any of the times we played this game, that's fair. Like I said, it's been a month. Uh, this is Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. This is the original release, not the HD release that came out a couple years ago. Uh, this is the 2000 and I want to say six release. It's a game where you need to go around as the stranger, capturing enemies. You can capture them alive or dead, but they're worth more money alive. We have been capturing every boss so far, at least alive. We've been trying to capture everyone alive, but there's just some situations where it just doesn't seem feasible. So, also, we run into walls a lot. Like, a lot. Flight takes off at 7.40 a.m. Eastern, so we leave here at 5. Ew. Ew, I didn't realize that was why, that was how early you were leaving. Shit. Well, good news is, when you get here, I'm, you can just go to bed. 
I don't have any work to do tomorrow, and I'm assuming you don't either, so... We're just, we're just, just go to bed when you get here. Red eyes suck. Bagel's like, fuck that pet me. Well, I mean, we'll be lucky if the cat's inside when she gets home. Unless the weather's bad, like it's saying it might be. Bagel had to put up with about a week of being stuck in the house because it wouldn't stop snowing. So now that it's not anymore, he is all over outside again. There's no stealth. Well, since I have him. Use my old trusty vacuum cleaner. Oh wait, I can just do this now. Use my sick ballerina moves. And once we beat him up, let me just pound your chest to get some health, get your health back. I thought for sure Big would be like, oh, it's not, it's now not snowing anymore, but I don't feel like going outside. No, that is not how that cat works. John should make Luca breakfast for dinner for when she wakes up. And by make it, I mean go to an IHOP or Denny's. I mean, I can just order like, I can order from a pancake place if she's in the mood for pancakes. Or whatever she wants. Burnt ass bacon. Bacon so crispy it'll cut the roof of your mouth. Best back breakfast diner near you. Um, I it's a Canadian chain. I don't, and it might even just be like West Coast Canada. Humpty's. Humpty's got pretty good pancakes. Ooh, too fast. We broke the train again. I mean, that just happens. If you're looking at the chat on the VOD, uh, you can't see the timer, but it's yeah, it's got a minute and a half left. It's just not up leveling up anymore. John knows what I like. Yeah. Burnt as hell bacon. I mean, honey, if you want me to do that, I can. But obviously, we'll figure that out when you get here. Because I know you. The first thing, the first things you're going to do is A, see if the cat's in, and B, check on your baby plants. Oh my god. Not see her husband? She's gonna see me. I'm picking her up from the airport. How are your sick tomatoes? They're not... The sick tomatoes are not doing the best. No. Everything I've tried, I feel like, is making it worse. Although one seems like it's doing okay at best. But I would not say that they are in good condition. Every other plant is actually doing really well. But those three in particular are, are not. Wait, plants can get sick? Yeah, they're they're living creatures. Uh, one of the problems was like, um, one case was I was giving them too much water. Then there was another situation where uh, I wasn't giving them enough because I couldn't find the right balance. No matter what I did, it was still making it sick. I had to change the light and everything. It sucked. I have tried my best to keep those plants alive, but Reese even warned me those three were going to be problems before she left, so. It wasn't you, they were sick before I left. Ah, uh, fair. But, you know, I was hoping I could at least do something to help. But I guess with not, I don't have the knowledge, so. 
Did Reese FaceTime the plants? Shockingly, no, but I sent her pictures. So she got updates. Thickets, masks, and treachery. The shadow of the steef. Now, from what I remember last time, uh, I was told the town three was going to go in an interesting direction or it would be right after town three the story goes in an interesting direction. So I'm curious where the hell tonight's uh, playthrough of this is going to go. Obviously, I don't want any spoilers for story, but uh, I'm interested to see how things play out. Whoa, what? Oh, no. Okay, that's why I did a double take, because I thought that said New York. Nope, it was just a joke. Just a play on New York. Well, that sucks. Now they've got infrared, apparently. Which apparently works through rocks. Oh, no, he saw me actually on the side of that dam. Huh. It will go directions. That's all we know. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, any direction is a direction. Where is this guy? Oh, he's up there. Can I even? I'm gonna kick your ass. You You're doing a great job of it too. I'm very proud of you. Uh, what if I got the lure out? Come on, come on down. Come on, come on down. No? Okay. You don't want to be heavily murdered? Oh, fuck. That didn't launch him. I thought it did. That did. <laughs> Much better. He's definitely dead. Yeah. He was very dead. Bagel's probably mad. I mean, he's holding up. He, he's outside again. He's off on another adventure. All right, we're officially out of ammo for boom bats. Actually, let's go back to the bolomites. A merp venture, exactly. He's off charming some other family. I'm not a fan of the snipers having infrared. Especially when I can't even see them because of the brush. Where are you? You're up there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting any of these guys alive. Have you and Reese finally met all of your neighbors via the cat? We've met a fair amount because of Bagel. Not all of them, but a fair amount. Where? There you are. Are you on the water tower? Feeling blind today. I literally can't see this guy. No, oh, that guy didn't, though. All right, let's see if we can get that last guy. How's the sun in Canada? I remember you saying once that sun was out, even past midnight, but in another VOD, you said that it got dark super early. Uh, that's 
that's called summer and winter. <laughs> that's that's how that's how summer and winter work. In summer, you can sometimes see light like around here specifically. Uh, in the summer, like it, you can still get sunlight around ten, ten thirty ish. Uh, when I'm up, when I was up north where my family used to live, about eight hours north of where we are now, uh, literally you could see the sun at midnight. But uh, in winter, it's the opposite, where the sun is gone by like three or four o'clock, and it doesn't like go up to like eight or nine. So it just depends on the season. That's why I'm wondering. I mean, well, it's it's spring right now, so like the sun. Uh, actually, you know what? I can get you rough times. Because I think right now the sun is still out. Sunset's probably at like 9.30, 9. Uh, okay. Sunset's at 8.37 p.m., so like right now. And dusk is 9.13. Sunrise is at 6.35 a.m. And dawn itself is at noon. Or at noon. At 6 a.m. So sun starts showing up around 6 in the morning right now. And that'll start getting earlier and earlier. Where is the guy who was shooting at me? He really is just on top of that thing, huh? My god, that actually worked. Didn't think it would get him from over here. I know I don't have to get them all. This is just cathartic. Okay, it was running underwater. That works, I guess. Can't get on this boat. I swear I was on this boat earlier. There we go. Where are you? What part of this fucking tower are you on? All right, well, I mean, if you're just stuck up there, then fuck all y'all. I'm out. You can stay up there and starve, because no one's going to find you. All right, New York City that way. It's the only sign. So what's up with this bridge? Is this supposed to be a wharf? Oh, no, it's just tons of money. John, you think Emilio's gonna need more help than Reese with clearing Banjo? I mean, the playthrough's already done. Like, we've recorded it all. So he doesn't need any help because he's already finished it. <laughs> Oh, there are some boom bats. That was fast. Oh no, we've we finished the like the entire thing before I think the first episode proper went live or pretty damn close. Don't mind me just restocking my ammo. Did Chugga need more help than Luca to finish Banjo? Don't actually answer this. This is just a joke. <laughs> I 
I mean, he did he did pretty good, but like I was expecting him to do pretty good, uh, considering he's played 3D platformers fairly often. It's uh, he had I mean he had some problems in some interesting areas and some that you'd expect. So I'm curious to see how reaction is going to be when we get to those, and how they're edited. Oh. Still salty about Snacker and the Jinjo? Oh, uh, no, I honestly forgot about it until we got reminded on Twitter. I legit forgot that even happened. But I was still impressed he did it without even seeing Snacker. Is this the right way, or is this just the way to more money? I feel like my mucking around might actually got me lost, because there's no map. There is actually no map, right? Yeah, there is no map. Hang on a second. Thought I had... Oh, okay. No, no, I'm thinking of a different stage. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine. Never mind, overthinking something. I thought we were supposed to have a bunch of people with us that we were going to drop off in the next town, but I think that was from the first town to the second I was thinking of. Can really use some more boom bats, though. How did the haunted area go? Did he ever get scared out of his gourd? Ew. 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 Alright, is this New York? Doc's retreat in Mongo Valley. Perfect for all your surgical needs. Sprinkles bring. Sorry, I couldn't hear him. That's why I stopped talking. Hey, Sprinkles. How's it going? You showed up just in time for me to take a nap. By which I mean shoot you. I am going to take a nap, though. Taking a nap. Don't wake me up. Thank you for the raid sprinkles. Hopefully the stream was good. Hopefully you had some fun. You've come over here in time for some game clearing. We are currently working through Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. This is the third stream we've had of it, but we haven't played the game in a while, so I'm a little rusty. And as you can tell, little uh little low energy right now. Uh, we were supposed to actually start earlier tonight, but my stomach decided otherwise. So, right now, I am trying to regain my energy. By which I mean I'm falling flat on my face. And breaking some very loud boxes. General store, out of town, bounty store, and port authority. Let's go to the bounty store first, I guess. Ooh, 
Reminder, the 20,000 you need for surgery is plot money and not actual money. Feel free to spend as much money as you want. Oh, I know. I've been spending it all. I just happened to be because I've been catching everyone alive. I've been trying to anyways. I've had a lot of money on hand. Ah, I love the no sign store. My favorite. General store. Let's see what upgrades they've got. What you got? No armor. One upgrade for more stunks. And another ammo bag. Last ammo bag upgrade. It lets you hold a ton of ammo. Yes, please. And since I'm here, uh, oh my God, wow. Yeah, they aren't kidding. Jesus, I can hold a lot of these now. Uh, where's, do they even have the, the boom bats? There they are. Actually, no, that's not even worth spending it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Be sure to check my inventory later. We get in new items from time to time. I hope so. Let's look at the spoiler vision. Something evil will find you. Yeah, that was pretty spoiler vision. Well, I'm not going to think about that. Goodbye. <sighs> okay. Bounty store. What you got? Hey, let me upload these people to the jail. Internet jail. Explosives McGee! Alive, 1100, dead, 400. Once you go after explosives, there ain't no turning back, so be ready for anything. Uh oh. I almost feel like I should wait before I pick this one in case it actually does something. Quickly look around town, although I don't think there's anything of note. Guts to talk to the clerk and take a bounty. No, that's just what I gotta do next, okay. Alright, let's just assume it's not a point of no return and just go do it. Mongo Valley Elevator. This is pretty closed up. All right, let's go. Let's see what going for explosives McGee does. Okay, not the way I thought they were going to take that one. Pardon me. You know anything about this explosives McGee? Oh, I seen his boys use the elevator in town. You might sneak up on him if you took it. Hi. Oops, wrong way. Fine explosives, McGee. Huh? Mm. Uh, I need to find. 
and explosives McGee. All right, let's find explosives McGee. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's what I was trying to do. I regret breaking these boxes, I bet. Oh, a little bit. Excuse me, I'm trying to use my vacuum cleaner. Good hunting. Okay, I hear bees, but I think I'm full on that ammo right now. I have 900, oh no I don't, ooh, never mind. Where are the bees? Put the bees in the old ammo bag. There we go, full of bees. Letting everyone know I'm here. I figured it'd be helpful. You are full of bees. Water. Water. What? What's with the water alert today? What? what? What the hell happened there? Let's try that again. Water and water and water, water, 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 water and water and water, water. Well, it worked that time. Uh, Laura Igus Trucy says, it's my birthday, so take money, and no, I will not give you hints on saying Aegis or in my name correctly. Find it funny when it's not the way I say it. I'm just very happy that I can be myself here, so thanks for that. No worries, Laura. Thanks, and happy birthday. And I'm just gonna keep rotating through Aegis, 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 and whatever one I ever come up with in between. No promises. Can I, can I get out of this thing? Nope. Oh, if I can't, if I can't capture him. Oh, I should probably actually change his ammo to something a bit more helpful, huh? Uh, yeah, I thought slug. They only have four of those guys. Well, no, I guess I can just use the bees now. Okay, maybe that was dumb. Stopping? Am I getting out? There we go. Well, hopefully all those corpses have fun. Now that they're dead and all that. Oh, these guys aren't though. Oh. 
Perfect. What was the same? Better watch my booty. Gotta get the explosives, McGee. Better be careful around here. Need to keep moving. Find Tell me to watch McGee. my booty again. Gotta get the explosives, McGee. Not gonna say it anymore, are you? Better watch my booty around these parts. Gotta watch that booty. Better watch my booty. Cause explosives McGee. Pilgrim. I don't know why every time I always look for secrets when there's like next to none in this game. Every time I'm just like, oh, here's some crates. Let me smash into them. And like nine times out of ten, there's nothing in them. I guess it is fun. To a point. Dr. Bees! Ah, I bet they did. I'll keep an eye out, though. Well, speaking of bees, let's turn them off because we're going to need spiders instead. Oh boy. Okay, okay, you, you need to stop. All right, you're that machine gun asshole. And you almost killed me again. Shake all that off. Jesus. I mean, I did use some bees. Could you always use more bees? Not full up on bees again. We are low on spiders, though, which is a problem. Spiders are pretty good to have. Oh, we're almost caught up on explosives again. More bees! Oops. Well, waste of spider. Nice. Good job, John. So we got a mine we can look into. Is this a full blown path, or is this. No, there's a door. Better be careful. We'd rather have A's, but oh well. I don't think they. I don't. There's A's in a box. It's a box of graded term papers. Gotta get these test results to the children, Pilgrim. All the explosives! Forgot about them. Try again, stranger. Oh, I gotta do this part all over again? Come on now. Heal that all back up. Okay, where was our ammo situation? Oh yeah, we gotta get all the ammo back too. Ugh. All right, well, at least all the crates are back. Okay, can't do it with the camera angle changing. Ah, I bet they did. I'll keep an eye out, though. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh my god, that machine gun sucks! Oof, okay. Now that we know that explosive guys are there, let's be a little bit more careful this time. Restocked on, no, not quite restocked on those. That is not what I punched, what? How did that even work? Okay, uh, skunks maybe? I don't remember how long the bomb guy stays stunned though. Well, I guess that works. Let's take what we can get. I'll grab this one first. Stand right next to the exploding barrel that won't backfire at all. Oh, they didn't run right for me. I'm actually a little surprised on that. Come on over. Come on over, big boy. And we dodge the machine gun guy. That's the important thing. Machine gun guy tried to punch me in the face instead of using the machine gun that has like got a 90% success rate on me. I am legit surprised on that one. I'm just gonna. Here we go. Let me guess, I'm gonna go find a button in that other area that makes a card appear. Hello? Oh, there she is someone there. Uh oh. Oh God! I don't remember how to turn those off. Destroy these? I don't remember. I mean, 
that seemed to disable it for a bit. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. Let's grab the big boy. He was somehow only worth the same as the small guys. I'm being very sneaky with my electric gun. Okay, so he went down this way, and I get to go down a similar path. All right. And they gave me a checkpoint right before it, which is going to be interesting. Let's switch back to the bees! I have a shield now. Sort of. They can't attack me if I take out every possible bridge they could stand on. <laughs> you know, I was joking. I didn't think that would actually work like that. That's kind of great. Keep going, I guess. Bees! Wow, bees take a while to reload. There's gonna be a pile of corpses for me to pick up later at this rate. Oh god. Ooh, this is going bad. Never mind, I fixed it. Can I go in and collect any of these corpses? No! Game says no! Okay. Need to keep moving. Find McGee. Game explicitly said no. Not yours. Oh nice, some spiders. Probably the first time I've ever said that in the history of ever. They must be getting ready. They must be getting me ready for a boss fight. The way they're framing this. Oh, 
I heard him say look out below, but he didn't do anything. Oh, here we go. Well, now they definitely know I'm here. Restock on bees. Oh, that's not bees. I thought that was bees. Oh, fuck. Not you. Not in the mood to deal with you with snipers. Okay, let's see here. I got one of them. And I got the other. There's a pile of money. Better watch my booty around here. Why is it going through solid rock? Okay. Slow and steady. Camera gets stuck too. Let's get rid of that. Or, yeah, you could run right there and I could kill you. That works too. Where'd he go? Where, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Hurry up and get shot. This move. Good thing they didn't shoot the barrel. Okay. Get all the loot. Doing good. We're doing good. It's been a bit. Maybe I should do a save. Because I don't remember the last auto save that happened. Oh, hi. Snipers. Two very accurate snipers. Has John played and or beaten Munch's Odyssey yet? No, this is the only odd world I've played, bizarrely enough. Despite the series haven't been around for ages, this was the only one. I have the majority of them, it's just never got around to them. Oh, no, not next to the machine gun! Take it. 
Yep, got greedy. And that's why I saved. guy guarding the door before I ran in. Alright. Health back. These guys back. We got two snipers ahead. We got one sniper ahead. There we go, flamethrower guy not near the machine gun dude this time. We're actually gonna live. Let me shake this off before I grab him. There's someone shooting, I just don't know where. Oh, well now I do. Yoink. What are those remaining four dots? Are those just money bags I missed? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. Well, peace and quiet for a bit now, at least. Okay, restock on ammo. Spiders, specifically... Spiders. Didn't use any explosives, but whatever. Take some money. Auto save, which means something big's coming up here now. Well, a lot of enemies at the least. Oh yeah, yeah! Come on, I hear you, explodey boys. Oh boy, oh god. What game did I walk into? This is Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. This is our uh, third day of playing it here now, but the last one was a month ago, so you'll be for you're forgiven if you don't remember us playing this. We're doing some bounty hunting. This is a wall I can't seem to get through. I can run my head into it though. Looks like we're going in this cave. Some more bees if I need them. Which apparently I did. Wow, we used a lot of bees. There we go, full up on bees. Full up on health. Is it time for another ride? No, it's just another cave. Another mine, mine shaft.
Absolutely nothing. I am somehow not out of the range of that flamethrower. Shake it off. Didn't think that was just gonna close the door. I thought it was actually gonna like stop the thing. Not the most helpful. Gotta get the explosives, McGee. For good measure. <sighs> okay, oh. Now I saw money. Lots of crates, so many crates. Not so much enemies at the moment, I guess. And again, a chance to recharge my weapons. My ammo can't complain too much. Yeah, this. Too quiet too quiet. Yeah, I agree. This looks like it's gonna be a nightmare. I'm guessing that's gonna end up being the boss arena. It's oh god. Let's get rid of the flamethrower guy first. Oh, doing that with so little health was not smart. Case in point. Music's getting very dramatic now. Oh, they're giving me like everything. This is worrying. They are making sure I have ammo. Really hoping that was going to lead to something. Here we go. Oh, we're walking out slowly, too. Been waiting for you, stranger. Well, that's good to know. Now, why don't you come on down and make it easy on yourself? Come down! You want me to tie myself up too? <laughs> Make him dance, boys! Damn, can't bag him in that cart. If I activate them track switches when they bleep him, should bring him closer to me when he goes through them. All right, McGee. You're looking for a beaten? You got one coming. Alright, there's our autosave. Let's see how this goes. Alright, we gotta deal with the, the snipers first. Oh, no, we gotta deal with you first.
All right, now we gotta deal with the snipers. Don't need to capture you guys alive. I need the big boy alive. Oh, fuck, that hurt. I'm gonna get rid of these just in case, because I know this is gonna fuck me over at some point. Okay. Oh my god, that hurt. I picked a good time to get undercover. Jesus. Let's just get rid of them. Grab you. Apparently get shot. On stream, oh boy, hang on. Well, hello there, I definitely... <laughs> I misread the name. I know who you are, Gentle GF, but I'm not gonna lie. I definitely misread that as generic GF VTuber and got very confused. Gentle, thank you so much for the raid. Let's run some countermeasures for you. Well, apparently I need to wake up, because if I read that as generic girlfriend VTuber, maybe I do need to take a nap right now. Are you my brother Rex Racer? <laughs> you are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg. Gentle! Gentle girlfriend VTuber, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. You must be excited for Reese to be coming back soon, I'm gonna guess, in that case. If you're hanging out here. You've joined us for Game Clearing. We're currently playing Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. We're, uh, shoot. What did chat say we were last time? Like, close to half? Very close to halfway through the game. My expectation is that we're going to either beat it next week or get very close to beating it next week, but this week... It's just all about remembering how to play since we haven't touched in about a month. I'm making a save right now because my gut checks tell me we're probably going to need it. Oh shit, where are you? Missed the shot! No, I got the shot! Nice one's there, okay. Oh fuck, of course you two are the ones that didn't die! Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! I hate these machine gun guys. This 
shot. Ow. Okay, well, at least I can have him looping around while I'm dealing with his mooks. So let's steal the money I got from them. Oh, uh, ha, 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 I did not expect that. Flamethrower, fuck off. Can I destroy that? It's gotta be some way. Good. Well, let's steal his shit now. Okay, so where is he right now? The next one I need to shoot from him is this one? Nope. That one. Oh, I'm up here now. Okay. All right, time for the magic combo. Shake it off, shake it off. Why can't I move? Oh, right, because the... No! Got it! That's how you get him. Okay, that was way too fucking close. Uh, is that thing still gonna shoot me? I know there's a raid, but I'm just making sure I'm not gonna get shot again before I... Okay, it's done. Do I feel inspired yet? Sure. Sure I do. I, inspi I feel inspired to take a nap. Upon murdering the one-man raid, Robert Cop turned himself into the authorities. He's currently serving a life sentence inside John's computer. I know it's not a one-man raid, I just like that one. Thanks, Crimson, for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good. Oh, yo, Dan, you know about Blood Deaths, nice! I haven't seen the movie yet, but like, I got linked that scene, specifically one of our viewers made that, and I'm just like, yeah, this is going in the rotation, it's fantastic. Okay, well, I guess this is the perfect chance to restock on ammo. I only know this movie from Best of the Worst. Okay, fair enough. Oh, you know what I didn't realize? Where the hell do I go now? Oh, never mind. There's a way out. Like, I assume there's no treasure to grab, right? Like, we... we got everything we could? Yeah, because I can't go up this. Everything I can see right here glowing is just ammo. I'm surprised, though. I thought there would have been, like, a pile of money we could have got. You know, ignoring the 1100 we got for killing him. Or capturing him. Did, MS3, did MST3K do blood debts back when? No, I don't remember them doing it back back in the day. 
I don't know if they did it on the uh, Netflix run, but I don't remember. It definitely wasn't part of the original runs. Well, I guess this is something. I was expecting more money from just lying around stuff, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Every time. Oh! There's the money. Yoink! It's not much, though. Okay, maybe there was more than I thought. I was gonna say, for the big dealer maybe explosives McGee, this wasn't really much money to get. I guess the whole point is they want you to figure out if you can get him alive because he's worth 1100. There we go. Done and done. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Take our sick ballerina moves out of here. And destroy every wooden thing we see along the way. Speaking of MST3K, did you hear that for the upcoming 13th season on their new site, they are doing another Samson vs. the Vampire Woman movie? Oh, like another Samson movie? Or is there specifically a second Samson vs. the Vampire Woman movie? Because I'm interested either way. I did see they were going to do another El Santo movie, which I was excited to see. But I haven't watched any of the new seasons at all. I've heard decent things, I just, you know, I, I don't boot up Netflix that often. Perfect. You don't know where Explosives McGee gets his weapons, do you? Mm, yeah. I've heard the rumors of a black market in town. Oh. Got him bagged. Now to turn him in. Time to earn my keep at the bounty store. All them weapons and explosives McGee's got. We know how he gets them. Uh, I don't really know, but I've heard about a place in town to get them. So there's a black market somewhere. You don't know how explosives McGee gets all them. Big ass weapons, do you? Hmm. Don't know for sure, but I've heard there's a black marketeer in town. He's hard to find, though. Is it this person who stands out? Huh. Ma'am, are you the black marketeer? Just knows anything about a black marketeer? Yeah, I know about that black marketeer. You need to climb that rope across the street to find him. But you'll need to give him the password before he'll sell anything, do you? The password is molasses. Oh, I know a place that has cool stuff for bounty hunters. Okay, molasses. Climb the rope. My God, she's doing the best job and the worst job of advertising the black market shop. 
a bull's ass. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Sweet. Hey, stranger. We just got a new sniper dart in. Come take a look. Armor! Oh, thank God. Some actual... Oh, no, right. Guaranteed to break some teeth. This just does damage that doesn't actually protect me. Every time. Every time I get excited about the fact that I'm going to take less damage. Let's see. Stamina regeneration! Stamina booster! And Boom Bats clip extension. Let's grab all of these. And nothing another. Well, that works for me. What is this? Used in sniper zoom in mode for a one shot silent kill. I haven't seen that ammo before. Oh! Hang, hang, hang. Do I just have to buy one to get the upgrade or what? Well, I was the only one that actually looked upgraded, actually. You've acquired the Bola Blast! Fire at clusters of nearby enemies and knock them backwards and wrap them in webbing so they cannot move or attack. Yeah, it overwrote my my spider ammo, but it didn't replace it, so I actually have to get more. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Does that mean regular spiders? I see. I don't want to go too crazy with this. This is the problem. I don't want to get broke and not be able to afford anything else. We always got the sniper shot, but I actually forgot how you do the zoom in. There we go. So I guess I can shoot in this mode. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if you have HBO Max, but the new Batman movie just came out for streaming if you want to watch it. Uh, HBO Max doesn't exist in Canada. We have to use Crave instead, and we don't have Crave currently. So sad that I'll have to either wait or I'll have to get Crave again. Feel free to look around, but remember if you break it, you bought it. You got anything new? Stunks Attractor! This potion will draw more stunks so I can get more ammo. There we go. That's helpful to get. And now you sell the Bola Blast now, too, so I guess it's just permanently upgraded. Did you find what you were looking for, stranger? If not, come back later once I get some new items in. Now, did I miss an upgrade in that case? Because that's the first time I've seen an ammo upgrade like that. Don't you have one of those VPNs? I don't have a VPN currently set up. We have access to one, but uh, I don't have access to it here, if that makes sense. We have it set up for other things. Well, let's turn these guys I want in. Another bounty. I better bring this one in first. All right, how much money we earn off of that? Two thousand two hundred eighty, not too shabby. 
What's up next? Oh, I've got some more bounties, but they're down river. You'll need a Mongo River Pass to get them. Head over to the general store to get one. Then come back here for a bounty. I was just there. Ugh. All right. Need to get a Mongo River Pass from the. Okay, so Crave does actually carry it? Okay, well, that's good to know then. Maybe, maybe I'll bother getting that. It's free! Mm, now that you have a Mongo River Pass, head over to the bounty store before heading down the river. This seems silly I had to do this, but all right, whatever. Head back to the bounty store. <laughs> Why does talk to myself and open door have to be the same button? Alright, we got three options. Lefty lug nuts, elbows freely, and fatty McBoom Boom. Watch out for his crazy wrestling move. Elbows freely. People spotted him on the beach head outside of town. Don't get too close though, he'll knock you out. And Lefty Lug Nuts. He's been known to poach slags around these parts. Well, I guess let's go in order. Boom Boom sounds fun, but I think that'll be like the last one we do, I guess. You'll find Lefty Lug Nuts hiding downstream in that creepy grub graveyard. Reckon you could trick him into coming out if you know a sled call, but you'll have to make friends with the town sled hunter to learn something like that. Okay. Who's the town sled hunter? Excuse me. You know where I can find the sled hunter in this town? Oh, yeah. Old corn jaws, huh? Yep. Yep, yep. You can find him lounging out behind the general store. Okay. <laughs> well, one problem with that. There we go. Hey, you're that sleg hunter, huh? I need you to teach me a sleg call, will ya? Ah, uh, no way, bub. I done put hunting behind me since that gigantic purple ass slag come around and cut me down in my prime. But if you go to the Mongo Wilds and take that monster out, I might take you under my wing. Oh my god, do I have to go down there, take the monster, come back, then learn the move, then go back down again to get him? That's a little excessive. This seems like maybe actually the perfect time to take a break. Because we are actually at 90 minutes, so this seems like good break time to me. Before we get dug into this. So let's take it then. Oh, Alright. Let's drop some eggs. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty talkative for someone who was cut down. I was thinking, I'm like, I don't think you know what that phrase means. You dip tis, Daniel Bonin, King Monty, and Anonymous. Thank you all for the gift subs. SMRT guy 93 for 39. Backwards. Nice. Luca Jins for 103. Bore Adam for 18. Joker GX for 45. Hugo Sheehan for 88. TNT175 for 46. Hildebra for 9. What's our Twitch baby name? Eugene. Azure Refrain for 27. Roto Eve for 50. Spirit of Water Montaro for 47. Phantom X1234 for 54. Jeffrey Rhinus for 35. Zachman 103 for 16. Terenzu for the big old hundo. Oh, Zachman, I just saw your message. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. P Gamer 702 for 13. Gamer Mooney for 74. Tamoyo also for 74. Hope Big is behaving. <laughs> 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 
Can of Fodder 713 for 58, Flame Titan for 18, Wither Blaster for 41, Flying Wolf Lol for 38. Uh, Skull Wolf Steam for 6, Old Versions for 22. Chaos King, 1, 2, 3, 4 for 96. Azure Guardian for 60. Cryptid Canid for 42. Dust the Hedgehog, 7, 1, 1 for 13. Thanks to you, I tried the 3DS version of Donkey Kong Country Returns. I see why you prefer it over the Wii version. Yeah, it just controls better, doesn't it? It's weird. Just wish it looks as, looks as good. Strawberry Flavored for 42. Liam Walls, uh, 1690 for 26. The Italian Enzo, 22 for 51. Euro Chan for 96. Dante, 2056 for 57. Pseudobite for 62. Ryan Curtis, 2001 for 8. Reprogram for 46. Super Starion for... Or Starion, rather, for 51. Mr. Moody for 43. Joshua, 824 Racing for 42. Nice, backwards. Crimson Sun for 48. Italian Enzo gifted a stub to steal sunglasses. And V. Shinobi for the big old 101. Wonderful Dalmatians, as it says in his message. Thanks for subbing and hanging out, everybody. Really appreciate it. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. I got two here. One from Heavy Base labeled M-Rated Bizzard the Wizard, which concerns me greatly. But I'm gonna click it anyways. Bizzard the Wizard at the coming of JESUS! I'm just shaking my hand right now. He's a child, I think. What lore are we in at this point? And Rednexella with Goose's Easter Egg. Damn, my massive forearm is disturbing the life cycle of. Uh? Please send it. Egg. Why am I here? Honk, honk. That's the rub. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for that, Red. <laughs> Why am I bigger? All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll grab some co-coms, and we'll head over to Art Block, and then we'll continue Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. I'm going to go grab a new drink, look for the cat, and uh, I might snack on some Pop-Tarts since I am out of those lemon almond crunches. See you guys in a bit. Damn, my massive form. Oh, no. No. Here's the thing. I had forgotten about that for years, it felt like. And now that I've had the part of it, and then someone just wrote the rest in chat, it's in my head again. I have to go find it before we go to break. Thank God. It's still in my fucking... It's in my goddamn browser search history, so it came up immediately. Damn. My massive forearm is stuck in a can of sour cream and onion Pringles. Please, send help. Thank God. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Thank God I'm the idiot I am. For real, though, we're going to break. We'll be back. I think I got the song. I gotta. I forget what I labeled the song, or I guess Red labeled the song, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. Yeah, I'll go look for the remix quickly here. I'm pretty sure Red is the one who made that. So if I look for Red's name in the folder, I should find it. Got it. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> oh, I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I think I found it. Hang on. Is this the one? Damn. 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 Oh, this is a different Damn. one. How many did we get? Well, I'll dig around. I'll dig around. We'll, we'll also play that one in full when I get back.
Who's joining me tonight? to join us, I really want to find that song. But let's listen to the one I found. This, so I'm, I'm thinking, I was thinking when I was upstairs, I don't think Red's the one that made it. I think it might be one of the other people that do the music remixes. So it could have been Trojan, it could have been uh, Dion. There could be a couple people could be. So well, I want to, let's listen to this one first. This is the one I was playing right before I left for break. This was labeled Duke Comes to Art Block Alternative Title Scrolling really slowly, hang on. Alternative Title Pringle Toads and Massive Dragon. Wow. Because it's the stage three music. Damn. Damn. Massive, 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 Beautiful. That was Red Excellus. Uh, I found it, actually. Popsky reminded me of what it was, and chat also found the official name. It was Technohortus's remix I was thinking of. Duke Nukem sings for help. Damn, my massive Pringles. Help, help, help. My massive forearm is sour cream and onion. Please. Help, help, help. My massive forearm is sour cream and onion. Damn. My massive forearm is Pringles. Sour cream and onion forearm, please. Sour cream and onion, send my forearm wrinkles. My massive wrinkle is stuck. In. Damn, please help. Weren't there like three? I remember we got a couple really strong submissions with the Duke Nukem meme at the time. Reds, Technos, I thought there was a third one. I swear, three people sending like absolute fire ones this was the one i was thinking of specifically but i'd forgotten my reds which was really good like i'm going off my download list that like the like the, the ones i download i'm just like okay this needs to be saved for posterity for sure from the separate separate from the main list what yes, is the third yes, one yes. Duke must yes. really need help if he's just writing solid about his arms getting stuck in a can of pringles is massive sour cream on your pringles uh 20 oh that was December 6, 2020. I'm gonna play it again while I'm looking. Damn, my massive Pringles. Help, help, help. My massive forearm is sour cream and onion. Please. Help, help, help. My massive forearm is sour cream and onion. Damn. My massive forearm is Pringles. Damn. My sour cream and onion forearm, please. Sour cream and onion, send my forearm wrinkles. My massive wrinkles. 
Yeah, I've got I've got three downloads from like the same era. I've got Reds, I've got Technos, and I've got two from Pop or like one from Popsky and one from Dion. Popsky is a, a farewell friend. Or sorry, Dion's rather is a farewell friends remix. Actually, Popsky's is too because it's the Christmas one. It's the Christmas one we use. Uh, what is the one from Dion? Oh, wow, I haven't heard this one in a while. Things you find when you dig around your downloads folder. <laughs> All right. Crimson, how you doing? I'm doing good. Crimson, uh, I'm I, surprised you offered to hop on. You streamed earlier, now that I think about it. You raided. I, I did. I was the one-man raid. I did a D&D session tonight. Ah, okay. And do you want context by my raid message, by the way? Uh, Sure. So, I introduced a new uh, NPC uh, to the party. His name is Son, and he's a Warforged, and I gave him the personality of Android 16 from Dragon Ball Z Abridged. And his shtick is that uh, when he does, like, normally when you do product uh, inspirations, you use instruments. He has a thing where, like, his test panels, like, open up and have a speaker come out and just plays, like, marching band music as uh, in lieu of the instruments, and... He's just like, listen to this marching band music. Be inspired by it. Are you inspired yet? Gotcha. There you go. Yeah. All right. We've also got Gex hanging out with us tonight. How you doing, Gex? Well, hello there. I'm here. 
here. You're here. very quiet, too. I am. That's fine. Yeah, that's quiet on my end, too. I'm gonna turn you up a bit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's read alerts and let's hop over to Art Block and then get back to the game. Bad Chechpun says, more cow. Phazon Farmer says, whoops, forgot you were streaming tonight and started gaming. Hope you don't mind me leaving you on in the background. That's fine. You can hang out if you want. You can hear us. You can watch the VOD later. It doesn't matter. If you watch, I mean, that's the important thing. You watch, period, so. Xenotype C says, I'm currently attempting to watch the stream on spotty mobile data because the cable and internet have been out at home all day. Uh-oh. Stream is currently a PowerPoint. Also found out that when you don't have a connection and you want to play PS5 games, make sure you turn connect to internet off in the options or it gets in a loop trying to sync with the cloud. Ugh. Of course it does. Jesus. Wait, what system is this with? PS5. Ah. Uh, there's a... PSN just been having a lot of issues lately. Uh, it, it happens in waves with PSN, I've noticed. There's always like a burst of time where it's just like being annoying for no reason. Alright, we had that one from Laura earlier. Thank you again, Laura, for the glitched water. Sly Guy says, Dearest Protonathan Jonathan, I am free of Elden Ring. How goes your journey through the lands between, or are you waiting for Fair Lady Horse Mom to return to continue? Uh, I was playing my melee file for a tiny bit while she was gone, but s weirdly enough, well, or maybe not weirdly enough, considering the schedule we did last week, uh, I haven't had much free time to just play Elden Ring. I probably clocked, like, two hours, if even. Uh, the melee file just got to the, the mountaintop. That whole, the start of that area. Uh, and obviously the, the magic file we're not touching until Reese gets back, because that's our file together. So, uh, yeah, any time I've had has just been busy, because we streamed five times last week. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I was on a stream Friday, and then we streamed Saturday. So, yeah, there were five streams. Well, okay, yeah, because we didn't do anything Monday. So, yeah, five streams last week. And then uh, my f mom is in town, so I went to see my mom, my sister, my brother-in-law, my nephews on Friday to, before I came back for a Mario Party with Edo. And then Sunday, I went and had Easter dinner with them as well. So basically, my free time this the week that Reese was gone really wasn't much. <laughs> it wasn't much relaxing. It was mainly work. The only thing I did that was probably, like, just for me, for me, was I finally brought in a bunch of the trades I had and brought them to the local game shop. That's about it. Nice. Then I got a bunch of nice boxed games in return. And now I'm taking the games from those boxes and returning those for trade credit, too, so I'm in an endless cycle <laughs> of trade credit. So now I don't have to spend money for a while at the shop, which is nice. I guess you still didn't get that buggy on Mario Kart 8. No. So the boys did want to play Mario Kart, but I played on their file, so I actually didn't get any coins. So I still have one unlocked to get, and it is guaranteed now to be the Biddy Buggy. How is it you somehow went through all of Mario Kart 8 for that to be your last card? I'm so mad, because it's a default unlock, apparently, in the first game. In, in for Wii U. And I'm just like, oh, come on, man. This is the one I used. Uh, Roland somewhere set. Roland has, like, 20 games to send me. And he said he was like, I gotta look for some... Let me see if I have any box games to send you. And then he never got back to me. So I'm gonna have to poke Roland tomorrow and be like, yo, are you, are you, can I still get these? I still need these to finish my SNES collection. Which ones? I think the nice, uh, the nicest boxed game I got on this last trip. Okay, so that that's selective because some people might say the other stuff I got was better. Sonic Blast Man 2. I got Sonic Blast Man 2 and Act Razor 2 complete in box. Uh let's see what else here that is notable. Not really any of those. Oh, yeah. Um I, uh, because I had a bunch of credit with the store, I actually upgraded a bunch of my Pokemon games to complete in box. So now I have Pokemon Gold, 
crystal, fire red, leaf green, and mystery dungeon red rescue team all complete in box now. So, I up I upgraded a lot. And I am ever closer to being done with SNES North America, just the carts. Reese found two for me when she was on her trip. Roland's got like 17 for me, which I think puts me down to about 40. Inshone also helped a bunch too by sending me a bunch I was needing. So thanks Inshone for that if you're listening tonight. How about you're in collecting imports at the moment? Eh. I like, if it's a game that interests me, I'm all for it. But like, I'm not going for a complete European collection or a complete Japanese collection because I feel like that's asking for all sorts of trouble. Your collection's big enough as it is. Yeah, and dude. And like growing. I said, I'm up like I'm upgrading uh, to SNES box, and that's just its own can of worms. Here, just uh, I guess since it's in a convenient position. Uh. Why did the camera not turn on? <laughs> what? Oh, there it is. It's in, it's in the tiny corner. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a bunch of the ones I picked up today. Well, I say today I picked up with some of the credit. I've, I've been cleaning them today and going through making sure they're all right. I got a couple more I haven't checked. I got to check all the cartridges, make sure, and then take the better one and return in the other one. So because a lot of these are upgrades, and then there's the shelf of box NES over there and box NES. Oh yeah, and looking at this this stack too of the game. I have a box Game Boy stuff here too. Yeah, I got Pokemon Red boxed, but I already had the cart, so I just got the that. Uh, what else is notable in here? Wario Land 2 Game Boy Color version. Uh, Kirby's Dream Land boxed. Oh yeah, Mega Man 5 boxed for Game Boy. That's a that's a big one there. Lots of nice stuff. On the subject of GB and GBA games, thoughts on the possible rumor about GB GBA games for Switch Online? I saw that. If it's true, uh, sweet. I'm expecting it to be true. <laughs> I'd be, it'd be absolutely stupid of Nintendo not to be working on it. But uh, who knows with them sometimes. They make weirdly weird decisions. I, I would like to see GameCube games appear on the Switch. Yeah, I think I think at some point the Switch, if they carry over all the service to the Switch 2 or whatever the, end up, the sequel system ends up being, then they'll they'll add GameCube then. Yeah, I, I think that at this point now we could comfortably like try and get GameCube games onto the Switch or whatever the sequel console is. Especially with how the Mario 3D All Stars kind of is. Yeah. Especially with Sunshine. It's pretty much like, okay, it could be done. Now do it. Later, Dan. See you on Wednesday for Mario Party. And by the way, since that's a good, perfect segue, schedule for the week, Wednesday stream starting around 7 o'clock Mountain Time, 9 Eastern, is going to be Mario Party Superstars with Motion Dan, MC, and Attacking Toucans. And then Saturday is good old fortune cookie. It's the last regular fortune cookie for a couple weeks again because the next two Saturdays after that are bonus streams from uh, Coliseum. So the bonus streams are finally happening for Coliseum next week. Two of the three streams next week are bonus streams. And then the one stream that isn't is finishing up this game. So uh, it's going to be a busy week next week. So, yeah, speaking of Mario Party, I was on Maniacal Stream last night. Dude, I sucked ass. <laughs> oh. oh my god, it was horrible. So, in a, so I I went past. We were in Horrorland, and I passed the shop. I accidentally hit a button. I got a skeleton key when I didn't want it, and I was like, fine, whatever. All of a sudden, I land on a lucky space. Maniacal opens his mouth. Just humor me. Get another skeleton key. All of a sudden, I was like, well, if I get another one, I'm throwing my controller. Lance on another skeleton key. I throw my controller. And I oh. just walked away. Man, your word, at least. 
No account gamer says, it's officially April 19th, which means it's officially my birthday, which means I will steal your luck. Just kidding. Instead, I will give my bad luck to you. Isn't that the same thing? Uh, starting with this failed slot roll. By the way, I just beat Alex Kid 1 and would like to know your opinion. Like, the first Alex Kid? Oh my god. Uh... Which one is the first one? I legit don't remember which one. Is it Miracle World? Yeah, Miracle World's the first one. Eh, eh, not the biggest fan of that one. Yeah, happy birthday on that. And I noticed you sent it twice, like three minutes apart. Did you mean to do that no account? I thought I saw in chat you saying earlier, asking earlier if it worked or not. Just curious, did the winners of the various Coliseum giveaways get announced? Oh, we never announce the winners. It's up to the winners themselves if they want to say that they won. But I know that uh, Red Nexella won something and uh, showed some of it off on Twitter, and I believe... Uh, sorry. Rex Aura. Sorry, Red. Didn't mean to get the names mixed up there. Uh, and someone else showed me that they won something, too. But I know there was some there was some shenanigans with, with a contest role that we had to redo, and I don't know who won the redo on that. That was not intentional. Okay, I'll refund that second one then, Red. Or, God, why am I saying Red? <laughs> no account. It's the color Red. Your name is Red, so apparently my brain is just like, oh, color Red means say Red. No account. Let me refund you that one for you. I would say maybe it's also because maybe if you saw the Turning Red film, maybe that's it, too? I have not seen but, that, no. No, well, I know, but it's like, way well, he might have not seen it, so I can't make that joke. No account. I'm going to assume your name, you're the one that starts with an E? Looks like it based on this. All right, I'll refund this one. I need to see Turning Red at some point. A good film. Oh yeah, not not announcement content. Yes, they have been contacted. Uh, did that refund go through? Re refund this payment. There you go. There you go. Fixed, no count. Alright, you know what that calls for. Damn, my massive forearm is stuck in a can of sour cream and onion Pringles. Please, send help. That's right, Art Block! The Block of Art. Which starts here with this one from Begrudgingly Waluigi, who barely, barely missed getting in on Saturday's stream. <laughs> being John Malkovich, or just being John. I told myself I wouldn't do this because I wouldn't finish it in time before the stream was over and would not be worth it. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> you did miss getting in on stream. So if you're wondering what the context of this is, we played Metopia on Saturday's stream, and uh, I made in the first village, I made the entire population my me, who I was oh, also God. playing as. <laughs> so... Uh, there's a point where the the Dark Lord, Matt Damon, uh, had all copies of my face. It was very fun. You watch the VOD if you haven't seen that one. Matt Damon is Army of Jaunts. I... To be fair, since we're on it, I'm going to segue forward because this is the perfect segue into Unlimited John Works. From Clo Chloe. I am the John of my sword. John is my body and John is my blood. I have created over a thousand of Johns unknown to Jen nor known to Pon Pon. I have withstood Booba to create many Johns, yet those hands shall never hold anything. And I say, hey, unlimited John works. When the Dark Lord has all the John faces around him, this came to mind. So yeah, enjoy. Because in case you're wondering, it wasn't just Matt Damon. It was Aardvark Matt Damon from Arthur which was our Dark Lord, because apparently we found the exact me of that. It's fantastic. Chloe, thanks for making this. 
I missed a lot. You, Damn. you missed that. There was some good moments on Saturday's stream. The Mewtopia segment I, was especially recommended. Okay. All right. I guess jumping I back here. Uh, these are actually commissions I got done a while back from the Ooh. lovely uh, Lusty Comic, a.k.a. Dan Map, who says, This was commission. I'm new to streams, but I'm having fun watching every now and then, and I love drawing Rosa John. This was actually, this was the picture that ended up, like, locking in the look I like for Rosa. Like, this is when I was like, okay, the tights should be, the star tights should be her thing. And, like, Dan did a fucking amazing job on this picture. This looks phenomenal. So I was like, all right, yo, you want to do another one? Want to do, like, a, a bikini pinup? And they were like, fuck yeah. So here you go. They also did this as well. This time, Rosa John's sunbaking on her beach towel. I'm enjoying the new Mario Kart DLC streams and hearing you all have lots of fun. Speaking of Mario Kart, I'm drawing Rosa John on a motorcycle next. That's true. I asked for one more. There's a third commission coming uh, from Lusty, a.k.a. Dan. Uh, that is uh, good old Rose on a bike, because I am a sucker for motorcycle suits, apparently. So I want to see what it looks like in Dan's style, because Dan's style, as you can see, is very, very colorful, very vivid. I really like your work a lot, dude, so thank you so much for taking on these commissions. And thanks for hanging out the stream, too. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you're having fun. All right, this is an intermission gift, so we'll skip that one. We'll jump over to this lovely comic here. <laughs> Poyopa! Ah! Burger. I love burger. Oh, from Mika. I was inspired by Rosie's Beefaroo Kirby to draw a comic of him trying out his new copy ability. Ah, uh, summoning, summoning burgers, the most powerful Kirby form. I mean, if I had the ability to befriend people by giving them burgers, that would be cool. But then again, I'd probably just be Sneak King then. Yeah, pretty much. Except you're be, you're throwing the burgers instead of like having to walk up on them and sneak up on them. Thank you, Mika. Next up, going back to Metopia. Altamira. All wait, all three are Altamira? Okay. Right, because they have different looks. From Roto. Hey, yo. So tonight I bring the three-headed abomination that is Altamira. Much like Hydra, this three-in-one was quite the challenge, especially with all three heads being distinctly unique. But it was an interesting one to undertake. So, Saturday. Firstly, of course, the elephant in the room, that alt Mara here was already seen on stream, along with a handful of others yet to be uploaded here. Figured I'd still upload them over time. Anyways, to give a more up-close image and just for archival sake. See, I noticed that! I didn't... I forget if I actually said it out loud or not, but I was... I figured that was your idea. You had a bunch ready, just we're showing them off slowly. Secondly, I figured I should clarify, I'm not entirely bitter at all. Maybe the only thing I felt a little miffed at was feeling a little upstaged by someone who can do more detailed stuff. I typically follow a two-step philosophy with my creations. One, making sure they don't break when emoting, which the more detailed art-like ones do from time to time. And two, being more adaptations than direct recreations. Mies have a very particular style to them, and that is what I wanted to encapsulate. It's no one's fault, of course, so I don't want to hear any apologies for it, but I did. it did feel like a slight shot to my already quite shaky confidence. I still plan to continue. I just want to at least complete the list I have after all, but even so. At the end of the day, though, chat enjoyed it, you seem to enjoy it, and I enjoyed some of the chaos that ensued, even uh, still, such as the Village of John's. I wouldn't have redeemed for a part two if I felt truly upset. So nonetheless, thank you and enjoy. Roto, no matter what, I did feel bad. That was why I kept saying, like, yo, should we, like, I was trying to show, like, we should do the Mies. But I knew the second I went to that other one trying to get one of me, and I kept getting lost in other ones, I'm like, oh, I'm being real rude. So I do still apologize no matter what. Uh, I have gone ahead and downloaded the rest of them. So, when we come to Metopia again, we will be set for it. So again, apologies on that, though. And I know you said you don't want apologies, I'm still doing it anyways. I should also add apologies if you felt any pressure to not do the plan you intended of, of having only Hank Hill be everyone. The last thing I'd want is you feeling pressure to experience the game any different from how you'd want it. Well, now here's the thing, though. This is the thing with streams and streaming it. I, I, I can't... <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> As funny as it is, like, this that's like the personal file at that point. So I feel like this, the version the stream gets should be the one that's actually like the funniest. And as funny as making literally everyone Hank Hill is to me, might not be the same for anyone, for everyone else. So actually making a varied amount was really the, the smart way to go. Yeah, we're subjective. Also, I should feel add that the two locked me's were ones I downloaded. I felt disingenuous presenting them as my own creations for download. Ah! And Silvling and uh, Nymphine are your two OC races. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. All right, cool. Thanks for clearing all that up, R Roto. And again, sorry, but don't worry. We're ready for next time, for sure. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Next up, we've got a dit on from Nerd. So, couldn't really think of anything for Easter, so instead have a redraw of the first ever Diton drawing ever made. He's so happy with all of his eggs. Thank you, Nerd. Appreciate it. There might be more, and by next time, to be fair, I have a long list. That's true. Uh, I think, Roto, that, the one that you put in, that one, that was, what, three months ago or two months ago when you originally put that in? So, uh, your, your next request is gonna be a back a little bit. It's a little backlogged. Next up, it's Jonte and Jonte. Being a cute couple. From Paint Pen. I've been busy with school, but I've got free time on Easter to finish this drawing. Want to do a cute piece of these beans and pajamas. Also, I was absolutely ecstatic to hear about your 13 Sentinels segment and loved watching it. I'm glad you love Nats uh, Natsuno and Hijiyama as much as I do. Hijiyama was kind of hilarious. He just wanted that yakisoba pond. I or missed that part of the stream, sadly. Uh, it was so it was good. So uh, for those who didn't know, I actually got sponsored by Atlas and Vanillaware and Sega to do two hours of 13 Sentinels because it came out on Switch last week. So we ended up playing the beginning of the game for two hours on Saturday stream, and honestly, it was pretty good. I had heard good things about it, so I was glad to actually finally get to experience it proper, and hopefully you guys picked it up, because that looks good for me when you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, speaking of, I forgot to take away the damn panel again, so it's under the stream. <laughs> so hey, if you want to go buy the game, click the button underneath the stream, because I was stupid and forgot to remove it. <laughs> Technically helps me out. <laughs> Nah. I got rid of the commands. The commands are gone. I forgot to remove the panel. That's the thing I forgot to do. Totally forgot. Yeah, absolutely. Totally forgot. Yeah. Wink. No, li no literally, I've done this every time. It, uh, I've, no. done, I've done it so much that people asked when the one time I had to actually keep it there if I had again done it by accident. That's how often I forget to remove that panel. From TBG Hunter, uh, are you tired of the little sponge getting in your way? Do you wish to soar above the clouds in a futile attempt at reaching heaven? Well, I have got a special deal for you, introducing the Big Shot Bomber. This baby will allow you to dispense delicious Cromer upon any poor little sponges at 4.99's life at your leisure. Come on, come on, now's your chance to be a big shot, and it's all yours for the absolute steal price of one heart-shaped object. Better act fast or else, hyperlink blocked. If you're wondering, this is a Spamton themed unit I, I I got that, don't worry. <laughs> this is a Spamton themed unit I based off of Tom's spam emote and also, well, his Delta Room stream he did. I still need to finish chapter two. I still haven't played it. I haven't played Delta Rune at all yet. Delta Rune, I played act, uh, chapter one with Reese. It was good. It was a, it was a good setup. I, it's, it's different enough from Undertale that it felt fresh. Recommend. Thank you, TBG. Next up, it's minigame time from VCAT. TRG Coliseum party. Spin! Oh my god, you recreated that. Oh my god. Spin to win. Hi, John. Tonight's micro game takes up takes up to the snowy mountains where we put a minigame into this micro game. I hope you enjoy it. Spin. Spin. Thank you, VCAT, for creating yet another Coliseum minigame. Sorry, micro game minigame in this case. Next up from Kashmet. EXT! Yeah! Oh god, War of the Worlds. Natsuno finally makes contact with an alien. Unfortunately, it wasn't like the movie she hoped. I really liked the chapter last stream, so I wanted to try drawing her. Yeah, again, I've heard a lot of people say that she was one of their favorite characters, so I the way they framed that first prologue, real strong. So I'm curious to see how the rest of her story plays out. And last but not least, before, well, before the alarm goes off, from Princess Pixel 7, if I had known, and if it weren't, oh, there's a the text. And if it weren't for my sleepy allergy meds, I would have stayed up watching the incredible Miitopia segment. It doesn't help that it happened two nights after CJ's birthday, right. Also, Miitopia is where my other OC, who was originally my mage from Dragon Quest IX, made his second debut, along with his trait that gave him his full name, Ivan the Unfortunate. Both yep. Ivan and CJ met each other in World 3 of Miitopia, and of course, Ivan became like a brother to that CJ never had, because CJ was an only child. It was enough lore on to John's stream. Thank you, Pixel. Yeah, like I said, Mutopia segment, it was pretty funny. I had a good time with it. And with that, well, after we got past the tech issues. And with that, folks, let's go back to the game. Oh, no, there's two more pieces. Uh, yeah, screw it. There's two pieces. Let's hop through. Oh, my God. I just realized what the first one was by the thumbnail. <laughs> Don't blame me. I was given permission. And thanks and credit to Angels. 
What? 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 If you don't understand either of these parts of this picture, uh, you missed Thursday's stream and Saturday's stream in that case. I, yeah, I, I don't I get like any. To, I like to pull the I work card. Same thing. E Evangelion. Let's just say Evangelion. I don't know who that is. I can definitely tell you don't when you said a who. Uh, it's an anime. I, I've heard I've uh, heard of it. I, d I don't watch anime, so. And we'll end on this one from Noir. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> I've gone to the deep end, and those are bread boobs on Kirby. All right, Aardvark Rosa slash Matt Damon. Kirby with a bread bra, bread boob bra, and I just realized that was shrimp. <laughs> Why? I, I've lost all. <laughs> Again. Thursday and Saturday were quite rides. They were quite the rides. Thank you, Noir. All right, for real now, let's get back to the game. Okay. So it's so it's interesting about this game. I've heard about this way back when it first started out. I remember, I think I saw this like on game trailers or uh, I want to say like one of the early like video game websites that were kind of promoting this. Yeah, no, Oddworld Stranger's Wrath is pretty well-known and well-liked. It was advertised a lot. It got good reviews. Like, it was considered pretty good at the time. I've never played any Oddworld games. I've actually never actually never heard the series until, like, I want to say five years ago. Which is funny, because it's a PS1. It started on PS1. So that might be that why be a lot a of people missed it. Yeah, Yeah, that would be why. I was not a PS, I was not a PS PlayStation kid. I was a Nintendo yep. kid. It started on PlayStation, jumped over to Xbox, and then at some point it went multi-plat. Uh, but there was, like a, I think, a long-ish gap in between. But the most recent one is on PS5. Like, there's a modern... And, and Steam. Like, there's a modern Oddworld. But Stranger's Wrath is very different compared to all the other Oddworlds. Most of the other ones are kind of like puzzle platformers or, like, some aspect of that. This is literally, like, a, an action third-person, first-person shooter. With yeah, and the, and the big thing about it was the gun, the weapon you use. Yeah, which I can't... Oh, I can load it. There you go. This crossbow has different ammo types. All right. We're you at the port... The... Oh. Yeah, sorry. sorry uh, I just, I just got to talk... I just want to talk to this guy, so then we can... We'll get back on that. Sorry. Hey, okay. Can you open that gate. Okie dokie. You can go through now. <laughs> oh, okay. Like there you the... go. You're good. I like the main character's voice <laughs> so well, good. Because they're going for the, the parody of Clint Eastwood, basically. Oh, yeah. Which is the, why he is literally dressed like the stranger from, uh, like, all the Clint Eastwood westerns, basically. Yeah. Uh, but you know what the whole, uh... You know what the whole, like, Bounty Hunter system game reminds me of? It reminds me of the Star Wars Bounty Hunter game. Oh, yeah, the one where you play as... Uh, do you play as Boba or is it Django? Okay. Django Fett. I couldn't remember if it was blue or green armor on the front. Yeah, no, but no, uh, Django Fett. I was, uh, I loved that game growing up. I actually never played it. I need to get through that. Oh, game. uh, I'll have to recommend it next time. Uh, game uh, clearing uh, submissions are out because it's actually pretty. It's pretty. It's all right. <laughs> you walked back on that one pretty fast. No, I, it's like, pretty. I was pre gonna, all okay, right. Okay. Here, here's the thing. The reason why I walked back back on that is because I loved it as a kid, but I just sort of realized as I was endorsing it, I was like, you know what? I've not played that game like 10 years. I probably have a different opinion nowadays. I mean, I've heard it is still considered pretty good. I'm pretty sure it was one of the Star Wars games that got re-released last year or two years ago, Yeah, right? Yeah, I actually got it on the... I actually got it on the uh, PlayStation 4, but I never played... I never, like, played that version. Find a Mongo wild and a purple ass monster slag. Uh, yeah, the Mongo wilds are upstream, past that purdy waterfall. All right, well I gotta go to that purdy waterfall. Mm. Oh yeah, they had a bounty hunter has like a you know the bounty hunter system and. Uh, you can, uh, 
You cap you capture people or kill them for bounty, but I don't think you use the credits you get from it to actually upgrade uh, your gear. I think it's just mainly used to unlock like you know concept art and. Oh, uh, I mean, I get it. I get that setup. That's a bit of a bummer, though. I actually like the way this game has been doing it, where it's like, yeah, the money you can be used for upgrades. Yeah. So, like, there's there's actual incentive for me to try to catch them alive because I get more money that way. Yeah. One of the things I do remember about the game, though, is it actually has, like, silly outtake videos they made. <laughs> and they're actually pretty funny. I actually learned a couple days ago that, that the developer for Oddworld Soulstorm found the sales devastating because it was on PlayStation's monthly free games. Like, they were surprised that so many people picked it up because it was free, or they, they were mad because they did not make much money because it was on for free. I'm assuming that's the case. Because, yeah, I always wondered, like, how much those companies get paid to be picked as the free game for a month. Like, I assume that Sony is paying them to do that, right? Because I know that's what Microsoft does for Game Pass. The ladder? Oh, that fucking sucks. Oddworld creators have talked about how much Xbox screwed them over. Ooh, I haven't heard that. I heard, like, a lot of people who made games on the uh, original Xbox kind of got screwed. Well, because it was a launch system. So it, was yeah. a, it was the first time for the company doing a system, so, like, the, the sell-through rate wasn't the best. Like I love my Xbox, my original yeah. Xbox. That I, Someone, I definitely got my enjoyment out of it. But I can say, I was one of the few people in my friends group that had one. <laughs> uh, someone in chat said EA screwed him over too, but you know, that's par for the course for EA. That is that is definitely par for the course. I think I actually got into the Xbox family on the 360, Halo 3, baby. These games got less press than Titanfall 2 and equally bad release timings. Well, wasn't wasn't Munch's Odyssey literally a launch title for the original Xbox, or wasn't it? It was like stupid close to launch either way. Should probably should go the correct way. I always wonder because, like, in my mind, like I've always heard the Oddworld games are excellent, but they've always struck me as extremely niche games too at the same time. Yeah. But that, in my mind, that also could be because a lot of the people I hang around with are Nintendo-centric, and I think Stranger's Wrath might be the only Oddworld game on the Switch. Uh, it's not the only Oddworld game on a Nintendo system, because there were actually a couple Game Boy Color Oddworld games, and Game Boy, I believe. But uh, otherwise, it's been pretty off of Nintendo for a while because of exclusivity deals. That giant slag is in a Mongo wild. <laughs> oh, you have just cut. Well, he, no, he's still talking. It's just, he's still, the, the audio is still, like, distanced away from where we were, which is nowhere near the camera. Oh, wait, no, that's what we got the upgrade for. Hang on. Bullet blast. Well, actually, will that even work on wild animals? I don't know. Find out. Apparently it will. But, well failed experiment. Okay, I mean, is there, oh no. Well, here's the thing. I can't capture him. So I'm about to blow him up. <laughs> Wait. Ah oh, fuck. Uh so I hit melee, which is left stick, but in the process of pressing left stick, I lightly tapped the left trigger, which was listed as explosives. <laughs> so I basically, uh, I punched the explosive I just launched on their face, is what I'm saying. Well, partner, I say you just got a nice explosion to the face. Feeling okay there over there? Munch's Aussie and New and Tastier on Switch as well? Oh shit, I had no idea. I said there's not enough to bury that man. Uh, there's not enough to bury that man in a soup can. Damn, that's a I need to play more Western play. style games. It's one of my favorite aesthetics in media, yet I don't really play much. So curious then, have you ever played Red Dead Redemptions? No, I haven't. That's, no, that's really because I'm not a big fan of GTA style games. 
I might have to give it a try sometime, though. That giant well. is toast. Guess I needs to go learn that slag call from the hunter guy back in town. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. I like how he's just constantly, like, casually having a talk in to himself with his menacing voice. Meanwhile, the the, the creature behind him is just kind of waiting patiently for him to be finished. <laughs> he's like, oh wait, character's in cutscene, hold on for a minute. Alright, well, if that was all I had to do, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. That's good, at least. Did I look around and see if there's anything else here? We told you no fishing. I, that cave, I assume, is the shortcut back to town. Yeah, and the game's gonna want me to do that otherwise. Alright. I totally missed the turn by reading chat, didn't I? Yep, sure did. There it is. Oh, it really was, it was just for money. Okay, well, I'll take the money at least. So, John, what are your thoughts on the Cowabunga Collector's Edition that was shown? Definitely picking that up, because that looked really yeah. nice. Yep. I think coming out. Uh, did they ever say the actual date for Cowabunga Collection, or is it still just 22 at some point? I, th I think it was 22, but I know the collection's up on pre-order, I think, right now. Yeah, the, the actual collection's been up on pre-order for a bit, but the collector's edition got announced today. Which looks really nice, so I'm going to try which to get is, one of those. Which is a, uh, uh, yes, please. For those who don't know what's in it, uh, it's got an art book focused on, like, the 13 games that are in the collection. Oh, shit, what else is in there? Pin set, an acrylic stand, uh, the game itself, uh, and I th think some postcards of some kind. I yeah, postcards remember. of all the characters from Tournament Fighters. All right. Like, like it looked real impressive. Uh-oh. Part of me wants that collection just to get the first okay. NES game. Listen up and repeat after me. No, oh, good. I also didn't have to go back to town. I'm glad they thought of that. Okay, so a lot less padding than I thought there was going to be. He's in the graveyard, which is this way. The day keeps moving for the Calabunga collection? Uh, that's a bit of a bummer. And Crimson, you said you were going to get it so you could actually get uh, a legit copy of the first game as a result? Yeah. I am I a... surprised that they're actually putting that in there, but I mean, I guess if they're doing the full collection, they might as well. I have a strange fascination with that game. I'm trying to remember. What? what? So what was the full list again? Because I'm trying to remember. I thought for some reason some game that they made was missing. But maybe not? Because it's the three NES games, Turtles in Time, the arcade version of the arcade game in Turtles in Time Arcade. Uh, Hyperstone Heist. All three Tournament Fighter versions. And all three of the Game Boy Turtles games, right? That was the collection? Did I miss any I of that? I think so. I know it was pretty much a real big... The one thing I was bummed out, I think they announced what games were getting online modes, and it wasn't all of them, which was a kind of a bummer. Because they're like, yeah, I, I think it's one of the tournament fighters, specifically the SNES one, 
and Hyperstone Heist. I think they said that the arcade versions were getting it maybe, but not SNES Turtles in Time getting our online mode, which is like, a big bummer. Unless maybe they're delaying us so that way they could add them, but who knows. No surprise, we actually added online. <laughs> <laughs> the third Turtle Game Boy game being 100 or something? Oh no, yeah, like, uh, uh, Radical Rescue is weirdly rare. I remember that was a game I was trying to find for years as a collector and I could never find it. Do you have it now? Oh yeah, uh, we already played through it on stream. Ah. That's where Prepare to Buttle comes from. Ah, okay. Oh, right, right, I remember now. Yeah, but the, the funny thing is I went to the store the other day and they had the Japanese version of the game and I'd never seen that before. Huh. And it has some actually really cool art in it. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Let me see if I can find that. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Uh, the, the manual has a bunch of art in it as well, but this is the one in particular I wanted to show you guys. Uh, open image and new tab. Oh, of course, I picked the tiniest possible picture. Thanks. Thank you, Google. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and now I can't get an even I can't get a bigger picture at all. Hang on. There we go. This is the box art for the game. Look at this cool oh, ass picture, man. That is pretty cool. Mikey's all got right, a map. That's legit. Raph's juggling the key. Leo's holding a lantern and Donatello's the most threatening of the four. It kind of rules. And there's a bunch of art like this in the in the manual, and I think even on the back of the box too. Like Mikey finds an abandoned cave, and that's where he finds their hidden base. And he's just like, he's like, oh, I found them! I gotta get them! And there's like a bunch of art for like the three, the other three turtles getting kidnapped and stuff like that. It was actually really cool. The unfortunate thing was, they didn't realize it. Uh, the the copy was a bootleg. Oh. The box and the manual were real. The cartridge was fake. So I uh, I took it out of the box when I got home. Felt the cartridge and it didn't feel right. I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't. This is a bootleg, isn't it? Popped it open. There were wires everywhere inside the actual thing. So it was like hella uh. bootleg. So I brought it back and they were just like, oh shit, how do we let this through? But I mean, I got the box and the manual for free now at least. There you go. Now I just have to find the, the Japanese cartridge. What I really want to find, though, is actually the box for Radical Rescue, because that's one of the few Turtles games I'm missing the box for. Uh, also, weirdly enough, the first NES Turtles game I'm missing the box for. I have Arcade Game, and I have uh, the Manhattan Project. Oh, and I guess, and I guess Tournament Fighters I'm missing the box for that one, but that's expensive. It's funny, the one I LP'd is the one I don't have the box for. Yeah. You know, I'm taking these explosives off because I'm going to get my ass handed to me if I, don't, if I do that again. Yeah, I think the, I think the uh, original TMT game uh, on the NES, uh, that was probably one, one of my favorite of your uh, old Let's Plays back in the day. It was like one of my first ones. I think it was like literally my second one. Yeah. I know when I get the collection, I'm actually get, I'm actually gonna be really happy to actually try the turtles games out. Like, actually, all of them that I've been missed out because I know like a lot of the multiplayer ones are the ones that are really fun, especially mm. the arcade ones too. I am excited to have a bunch of people try out the NES one again for the first time. And realize, oh my god, this game is kind of bullshit. <laughs> it's not as bad as people give it uh, give it crap for, but at the same time, it's got some bullshit segments. Would you believe I found a ROM? I once found a ROM that actually makes the game even harder. How even harder? Uh, makes uh, I think they're more harsh with the enemy spawns. They and they change up the uh, the world map and uh, the uh, platforming. What? 
They, they, so it's a ROM hack. Yeah, it's a ROM hack, I mean. Interesting. Uh, okay, I, am I stuck, or did I just miss the way back up? Oh, I missed the way back up. There we go. The collection will be your first time playing all of them? Like, some of them are, like, they're gonna feel a bit dated. There's no questioning around that. But I think Trolls in Time still held, holds up. Uh, I think Hyperstone Heist is a little harder, but also does hold up. Uh, even... Even the Manhattan Project is pretty good. The Game Boy ones, I'm curious how people are gonna feel about it, because the first one feels really stiff. The second one is definitely better, and the third one's a, a really ambitious Metroidvania, but that boss rush is just horseshit. I'm curious how people are going to feel about Tournament Fighters, because Tournament Fighters is a fun game. Depending on which version you play. <laughs> Define fun. Well, no, okay, so I I think the SNES one's a legit fun fighting game. It, it's got some bullshit. Like, the, all three of the Tournament Fighter games have some jank. There's no questioning that. But I think they're all fun. Like, I think the, the SNES one in particular, like, has really good presentation. Uh... The Genesis one I always find super weird because just the way they present themselves in it and the way the whole way they do like the evil clone versions of everyone just feels a bit awkward and the music is hit or miss. Uh, and then the SNES, the NES one, I like the NES one, but it's very limited. I had the SNES version of Tournament Fighters, can 100% agree with it? Yeah, no, I, I rented SNES Tournament Fighters a bunch. That game is fun. It's going to be interesting, especially with the collection and the new TMNT game on the horizon as well. You know, if the collection will help with the sales for that for the new TMNT game. See, that's what I'm wondering. I feel like at this point people are, are waiting for Shredder's Revenge to come out. And they're just like, we just need anything Turtles right now. But also, all these games getting a re-release is kind of important and impressive because uh, Konami couldn't re-release them originally because Nickelodeon had the rights. So the fact that Nickelodeon's like, yeah, go ahead and do it, is kind of impressive. Huh. I'm curious what happened to at least make them do that. What the negotiations Money. were. Well, okay, yeah. But still, like that's that's the rights for 13 different games. <laughs> It's still surprising to see. I legit thought they were going to basically be lost media forever. And it also makes me wonder, because I saw some people asking about it when it got announced. Konami also did a bunch of the 2003 series games as well. I'm wondering if those are ever going to get a re-release. Like either the console ones or the GBA ones. I think I remember playing one of the GBA ones that was based off like... Uh, the movie that was out at the time, like mm -hmm. TMT, the TMT movie. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that one was all right. It's like it's very much like River City Ransom. So I, li yeah. I like the I liked it. It was a little weird to get used to and bizarrely hard. Um, but it's all right. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom got a re-release. Maybe it's the re-release that convinced Nick that re-releases are profitable. You know what? That's a good point. I didn't think about That's that. That's a good point. I'm sure that probably had some sway in it for sure. Yeah, because didn't that actually, didn't the Rehydrate like sell like Bonko box worth of uh, sales? It, it definitely like... sold better than I think that they were expecting. I don't have the nostalgia for that game, so I wasn't really hyped up for it, but I knew a lot of people that were. Well, they came out around the time, like, Spongebob was at its peak. Like, especially with, like, in terms of the media. I know a lot of people who play the Spongebob games. I remember I played one for, like, the PC where... Um, Plankton, like, took over with a bunch of robots. Oh, that is... Uh... Creature from the Krusty Krab? I don't know, I didn't play any of these. I'm just going I just the box art. I just remember... I just remember... Because of... You know, this was so many freaking years ago. Um, it was on the PC, and then in order to rescue your friends, you had to answer like a quiz. It was a quiz by this weird game show robot. Somebody in chat will probably know. 
As the PC version of Battle for Bikini Bottom, the PC version is not considered good. Oh, well, then I played the worst one. Got it. <laughs> Ock. It is a completely different game. Holy shit. Time to try that slate call. Bait old lug nuts out here. All right, let's see how this goes. Hey, I heard a slag. Where are you, you mangy beast? <laughs> well, look, day, it worked. Ain't no slag here, Lefty. Just you and me. What? You bastard! You slog gone and tricked me! Well, I got a little surprise for you, too! You're gonna have to fight my boys before you get to me! <laughs> Shocking. That has never happened at any point in this game at all. Never happened at all in this game. Two of them. Have you, my handy dandy wrist vacuum. I'm just reading the chat and everyone's talking. Yeah, the PC port is actually a completely different game. A lot of PC ports from SpongeBob games were actually completely different games that had a di completely different style than their console counterpoints. I think huh. Spider-Man 2 had that exact same issue on PC because I remember people talking about that when I was growing up. Oh my God, that hurt. Oh God. Okay, all right, we got some problems. Well, I think he uh, can shoot through the tombstones. Oh, looks like the stranger's up the creek about a paddle. Okay, let's let's get to a faster movement. All right. So I'm gonna need to use explosives probably to knock him down. Then I'm gonna have to juggle him. If it's anything like last time. I just love how, just to recover yeah, health, really? you just shake yourself off and just hit yourself like, all right, I can do this, come on. God, they're back again. What the fuck? One time I'm gonna have to juggle this the entire time. This fight wasn't even worth that much. That sniper's gonna kill me. Oh, shit, no, he's gonna kill. Oh, God, of course there was a machine gun guy. Oh, that's bullshit. You had recover. Whatever. I was recovering, but I got sniped and shot by a machine gun at the same time. <laughs> well, gotta do that entire fight over again, which sucks. You don't think this is one of those, like, you have to ignore them just no, to actually. Ev every. Oh, 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 you mean like that? Yeah, maybe. Yep, I got greedy on that one. I just wish you could move and heal. That's the one thing I wish you could do. You have to stand perfectly still to heal. I guess that's how they balanced it out. You don't, like, have any items that could, like, give you cover, like, no, nothing, the equivalent. Nothing like no. that. All I have is the equipment you've seen me, uh, put on my, on my wrists, on my crossbow, that's about it. Alright, let's 
heal up. So there is a limit too, because there's the stamina. God damn her, please. There is a, a, um, what? How'd that miss? How did that miss? Fucker. There's just the special ammos and like your physical moves that you can do in first and third person view. That's it. It's otherwise what you see is what you get. Okay, so we know right away he's gonna attack, so let's get rid of that sniper that's over there. How nice. Not interesting. I'm interested in that raid though I'm hearing from Highway. The air of surge is over, now it is time for new coke. I'm gonna guess you played either Radical Dreamers or Corner Cross. Based on that message. I need to get the the new Corner Cross collection. I've never actually played the original Chrono Cross. I, I've heard some versions of it are uh, are uh, not the best, but I've heard other ones are fine. I heard the uh, the PS5 one, I think specifically, was not optimized, but the Switch one's fine. Either way, let's uh, let's kill High Wing. High Wing says, "Don't get the remaster; it's really bad." Hi Wang, thank you for the raid, my dude. Hopefully Chrono Cross was good to you. We're currently playing some good old Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. Trying to work on it for game clearing. What inspired the new raid? Uh, Draco wanted to make one. That was it, he made one for, uh, shit. Which anniversary was it he made it for? 15. Was it the 15th? Cause I, I couldn't remember if it was, I thought we had it before that for some reason, but yeah, I believe for the 15th anniversary, for doing online content, Draco made the uh, the Ninja Gaiden variant of the raid video. So that one's on our rotation. We have basically four on rotation. We've actually used all four tonight, so. Right, so he's down. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no, I need to use explosives to get him down, too. That's what I gotta do. Not. Oh, don't tell me this is one of those weird types of fights to where you have to try and damage him a little, but then he just goes back into an invincibility phase, and then you gotta survive a bunch of baddies. Maybe. It sounded like he was leaving for a second there, but he changed his mind. Oh! Oh, hang on. He's down. Uh, Just regular-ass electricity got him down. Or did, no, I shot the wrong guy. Oh, he's going between three of them. That's what's happening. Yeah, he's going to jump between these three tents, apparently. So I have to juggle the rest. Right, I know there's a machine gun guy over here this time, so I'm not falling for your bullshit this time. Too bad you can't take, like, one of the machine guns and use it for your own. Oh, I have my own machine gun. It's bees. Where the two go I took down earlier? But the bees well, you know kill. What? I'm trying to not kill is the thing. This would be so much easier if I wasn't doing exactly what I'm doing. 
Uh, it's one of those kind of games. Oh, you're going for a no-kill run. Got it. Ooh! Ow! Yeah. Thankfully, this tiny that? tree seems to be better defense. God damn it! I can't get you through the small tree. Can you get out of the way? And then he just runs every fucking time. You don't get armor in this game, do you? Not really. Oh. Here we go. Now we're talking. Fight me like a man. What, what does he have? Like a blunderbuss? It, it looks like it's it, a multi-purpose blunderbuss, yeah. Well, that's the only thing I could think of that could just Fuck! deal... Fuck! That, that last much. shot did way more damage than I thought. Ugh. Is he seriously? Wait. Oh, it look. Okay. Well, that's not teabagging. He's just stomping on your corpse. Okay. Yeah. Fuck this. Fuck well, this guy. Thought I had a bit more clearance on that. That's what I get. Stop it. Where'd he go? Oh. I wish this thing charged faster! So do you get higher rewards for no kill? Yes. You get way more money. Excuse me, please stop putting knives in my back. I like not being perforated, thank you. The dumb thing about the that electric shot is like you can only charge it when you're in first person view. That's what that sound is, that charging sound. It's that's my free ammo shot recharging. It's the only time it'll stun them is if you let do a full charge. Shit, he's gonna kill me. Would you knock it the fuck off? Thank you. I noticed there on the on your map, it says you're spotted. So I wonder if you have to play this particular boss fight in a stealth way. No, well, I mean, the boss fight? No, it's like he, he can see you anywhere at this point. I guess I don't need that. I think be no, let's just do it that way then. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, let's try. Do you hear that, John? He picked him out specially oh, for you. Oh, fuck off! I'm trying to get him cover! Jeez, this fight's unfair. So that's a guy who literally has a goddamn multi... uh... blunderbuss weapon. Get out of here, I'm getting mad now. Yeah, this fight's in this game, this fight's not the best. Yeah, I'm seeing that in chat. It is possible to get him non-lethal, right? Like when he hops down? It's just he did a lot of damage. Is the only thing. I might just have the to start pausing and setting myself up with better saves and better respawns. It's not a boss reset every time? 
you can make a save during the fight that makes it so you don't have to deal with this start from the beginning every time. Oh. Problem is, as you can see, my cover is not exactly good. No. It does so much fucking damage. I'm wondering if, like, the do certain, like, ammo combinations be, like, the key to certain boss fights and all that? Or is it always just a straight set? I mean, I can put any ammo I want in the left and right slot. Right, but I'm just wondering if the like, if there's a way you could do like a stun animation, or maybe you have to clog his gun. You know, those kind of things that I'm just thinking. I mean, the the combination for that is is the uh, the one I was using when I first got to this fight, but it's kind of useless until he actually gets down here. And even mm. then, there's not really a proper proper stun lock per se. You two, and you in particular. And here we go again. What am I using in this other slot? Uh, I guess at this point I just use the sting bees. God, you're so annoying. Oh my god, that's so much damage! He literally took you half in one shot. I mean, that was more like two or three shots, but still, it was way more than it should be, which is the annoying thing about it. Boom bats can potentially do some massive damage and stun. We'll probably bring... So here's a question, what's that blue bar underneath his health? That's his stamina. If you drain his stamina, you can capture him. If you drain his health, he dies. Here's the thing though, he regens stamina. All bosses regen stamina, it's just at different rates depending on who you're fighting. Oh, it looks like he might be susceptible to the skunks. <laughs> He literally could do almost quarters of your damage. That's disgusting. Yeah. Man, this guy's got some goddamn good aim for being skunked. Not to mention having a freaking blunderbuss as a weapon. Oh, is he down? Oh, shit, he might be down. Get him I, I recover back. health. Get him before he gets back up. Get him before he gets back up. Got him. Nice. There we go, God. G he was supposed to be the easy one. Poaching time is over. Poof, there we go. Alright. And didn't even need to save scum. Nice. Oh, uh, that is first try. First try. GG. And that is not first try, but that is without save scumming. Which I'll take it, I guess. I was making a joke, but okay. I know, I know. I know. Okay, looks like we're full so, up on ammo. So it does seem like certain bosses, you have to play around with the ammo type to see if they have any stun animation. Some, some ammo works better on some than others, yeah. Like, some have immunity, essentially, so you have to juggle which one works right. But traditionally, the combo I use, which is uh, these guys here, the Thud Slugs and the, the Zap Fly, it has served us really, really well for the live captures. Basically, he's just caught in a loop and he doesn't do anything or can't. Okay, we're already full on bees. That should be the bombs. Should we probably use those. Oh, we're full on those too. Nice. Maybe just a skunk? Uh, yeah, but I don't think there's any skunk here. Mm. Are you playing another green guy with a vacuum? Yes, we played this and Luigi's Mansion at the same time. It was, it was very fitting. 
I think I only ever brought this guy in alive once. Every replay I just destroyed him with explosives could not be bothered. To be fair, he's not worth much, period. So, I don't, like, the only reason I'm even bothering is because I'm trying to get all the bosses alive if I can. I'm, I sure, imagine there's, I'm sure at some point there's going to be a point where the game's like, yeah, you just cannot get this guy alive. You're going to have to kill him. Will not be shocked even remotely if that's the case. You'll probably get, like, a different ending or something. I don't think it affects ending. Uh, huh. I believe chat said this is, uh... I think That's chat great. said this is basically just, like, it's only got one ending. Huh. You think you get some sort of special reward for, uh... No, uh, can't. you don't have to tell me you're doing that, by the way. Don't, don't, don't sweat it. Just have a good night. Maybe, maybe word it better next time, too, please. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the other green guy in vacuum, what were your thoughts on Luigi's Mansion 3? I liked it. I think uh, I think after the discussion I had with chat, I was like, yeah, I think for me this is my favorite Luigi's Mansion because of the multiplayer. Without, if multiplayer wasn't in the in the calculation, it would probably be one is my favorite for single player. Correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't the first one get a re 3DS remake? Yes. And that actually it tied did. into uh, the third game, because that's where Gooigi's introduces in the, the remake. Oh, shit. I gotta play that. I thing. need to actually... Uh, I assumed you're done Luigi's Mansion now? Three, yes. We yeah. finished it last week. Uh, cool. Uh, I just got... I just beat uh, the uh, dinosaur fossil possessed by the caveman. Oh, okay. Maybe go back and finish that. <laughs> Alright, let's go get another mission. I know, I'm on vacation this week. I'm so excited. So, hopefully I get to actually stream Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I'm so excited. Yeah, game seems alright. Wait, why can't I? I'd open that gate, please. The board is open for business. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There was, was there was one boss in an earlier stage that you had to kill, and you spent a good while trying to stun capture. Him. Oh right, the like the one in the building where we got dropped into the shredder. Right, forgot about that. Probably because that was like almost two months ago now. Oh, do you have to like put boss? Okay, I I know I haven't seen this game, but. Do you have to go like put like your captures in a specific cell? That would be funny. I'm I go to the bounty store and drop them off. Yeah. Uh oh. And that shows me how much <laughs> money I earned from capturing them all too. And that's also where I get my next mission. There we go. Nine hundred and forty-five bucks for all them guys. Now we have Elbows Freely and Fatty McBoom Boom. Let's get Elbows first. I've been doing these more or less in order. People spotted him on the beach head outside of town. Don't get too close, though. He'll knock you out. All right, give me the briefing. Ooh, you're going after Elbows Freely? His whole gang is whacked out in the head. Good luck with that one, stranger. Store frowns upon favoritism. All right, let's see if there's any upgrades. I'm sorry, Fatty McBoom Boom. Yeah, oh, you just noticed that? I'm reading chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one of the, one of the people we can grab. Come take a look. Oh, you just got the sniper dart? Okay. I got those. No. Oh no, there's a new special ammo. Rabid Fuzzles! Upgrades Fuzzles. These are crazy. It only takes a few to kill a guy! Oh, boy. Might regret this, but let's grab some. There you go. Fuzzles are upgraded. That's the only upgrade I can get here. Yeah. You've acquired the Rabid Fuzzle. Fired enemies to cause them to run around and panic and take damage. Fire at the ground to lay traps. Let's go see if the black market has anything new as well. Yes, the black market. 
I'm sure no one will take that literally. What? Oh, you know the joke where they people would try and hear you be like, Wait, they said something about a black market. Oh. I think we got him. Well, I mean, we've already been to the black market, but yeah. Uh, ass. <laughs> I, wait, what? You? Oh, did you? Were you not here earlier for this? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's it's molasses is the actual thing, but he didn't know the words. So he keeps saying mole's ass. Nothing new. Okay. And just like you know what, close enough. Yeah, thanks for checking out my inventory, stranger. Yeah, come back anytime. Alrighty then. Now with that, let's go back to the water and let's get the next one. Yeah, what can you tell a stranger about this elbows and his gang? Oh, elbows and his pals got a big old stockpile of expired explosives. They'll be lucky if they don't blow themselves to smithereens. Okay, good to know. How about you, lady? So, uh, where's I can find the guys with the bombs? Uh, if you want to get the drop on elbows, you gotta stay above them. Yep, above okay. I have a feeling those explosives are gonna play in if he comes dead or alive. Well, there isn't a live option, so... I'm sure there's some way to do it. I'm sure it was going to be really difficult, though. <laughs> Slamming my head against everything. No big. They said stay high to get to him, so I'm going to assume that means I need to take the sky bridge. I guess not. Uh, so which way am I going this time then? Yeah, you know where the guys with the explosives might be. Oh, those guys, huh? Just head upstream, and when you hear the bombs exploding, you're there. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> you just like. Freight tray him like I, it's, dumb, it's just running that does it. If you run into one of them, they'll drop their money by accident and it hurts them. But like, I'm just trying to build up speed so I can get to the next thing faster. Okay, for a second there, I thought you were going to just keep running underwater, and I'm like, really, game? Okay. It did that earlier, but I think that was a glitch. Oh. That would have been funnier, though. All right, I assume this is why they said get high. Cow uh, there's nothing on the radar yet. What even is this game? It's just a weird ass game at times. But it has a certain charm to it. Oh, yeah, it totally does. <laughs> One might say it's an odd game. Womp womp. Ha. I think that's kind of the point of them, yeah. Ha. Yeah. Ha. Just to make odd games. So, an interesting discussion. Uh, last night I had with a maniacal on his stream and everything with the cancellation of E3 and all that um, what do you think is going to happen come around summer technically around the E3 time the companies are still going to show off their stuff Nintendo still going to do their, su their summer direct Jeff Keighley has the uh, video game show whatever the hell it's called like it, there's it's still gonna be the time of information and news. That's never gonna change. 
It's just it's gonna change how it works, which, I mean, as someone who has gone to E3, E3 doesn't need to exist anymore. <laughs> Yeah. The presentation yeah. that everyone at home gets, that still does need to exist. But, like, the whole go to the con and, like, or go to the, the expo book appointments and stuff like that with the way companies can now just send demos to people directly does not really need to happen the way it was. And honestly, from most, from what I've heard from most people who went on the regular, they're like, yeah, no, I'm kind of, I'm a little grateful for this. It sucks for, like socializing and with like your peers and it sucks for getting easier hand on access but for the most part everyone seemed pretty okay with it summer game fest that's what it is okay thanks Jeff. yeah i i kind of agree like e3 just needed to pretty much just be done and especially with how everything came to be this just pretty much sped up the process but i mean in terms of like do do, do you have any like out of the blue predictions do you think may happen? Mm, not really. Because this, this is the thing, the whole, like... Like, the usual list you go through with E3 is like, oh, is Nintendo going to announce one of their old IPs coming back? Or is there going to be, like, some big title that's coming out? It's always like, oh, what big title is coming back? Stuff like that. Like, I know this is the year people are hoping that a... a a Spiral the Dragon happens, a new one. I think we found the bomb person. Yeah, I don't know what give you that idea. Oh, hello. So I guess now looking at the radar. E3 is pretty redundant nowadays. And don't forget, this isn't the first time E3's gone away. Something is going to come back in its place. And if, if it's Summer's Game Fest, which is what Keeley runs, or if it's something else, like, it will still exist in some capacity. It just that might not be what people are used to at the moment. Yeah, they actually, originally, the people joke about the E4 thing, but originally, it came back for a year or two as E4 All. And then, it they just took back the branding of E3. Because it was like, okay, everyone likes E3 better because it has name recognition. This was like 2006? Like, I was in university when E4 All happened. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Ooh. So we need to take the high road. I don't see a high road. There's, it's a lake. I'll tell you what, how about the explosion road? How did that not damage you? How did that not damage you? I don't know, take. but I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking what I can get. Yep. There's a problem. I nuke some of these bodies so hard I don't know if I can even find them or their corpses to take them for money. I'm just gonna go under the assumption of Yeah. Ooh, that sounds like a Gatling gun. Yeah, no the blue guys are awful. I hate them. Stay down. Oh boy, they're very close. Grab, grab him. I can do anything. Oh, there's two right there. I know, I'm aware. Phew. Shit, I almost had to lose. Oh, fuck. Of course, you got Jess out of range. Ah, oh, boy. Right, got him. And now I gotta get the actual guy that's bugging me here. Um. Hey, you know what sounds great? A new trap. I don't want to kill him, ideally. Uh, 
I may not have a choice. Oh shit. Oh no 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 fuck off, fuck off. Not, in not interested! Not interested! Oh god, that's a <sighs> It's only the charge shot that kills him, damn it. It's suicide grunts. Yeah. Man, I can't wait for Halo Infinite's update next month. <laughs> I and boom, that guy. Uh, <laughs> thoughts on doing whether coach doing direct style presentations for D&D? Oh, that's a thing now. Yeah, I think they got announced like today or fairly recently. I'm gonna make a save. Something tells me to make a save right now. Yeah, didn't something actually happen recently with D&D? Like, there was, like, a buy of some kind? Well, I'm gonna regret that standing position. What's going on here? Oh, uh, you don't want to know. Just using a vacuum cleaner or nothing. Just clean up the dirt. <laughs> no big. More spiders. Yes, please. WOTC bought D and D Beyond. Hmm, makes sense. I thought they already owned it. To be perfectly honest. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restock on these before I move on here. Something tells me that's gonna be very helpful. If I can, they don't want to show up. I guess I'm too close to the nest. Where's the guy on my radar? There's the guy on the radar. Jesus Christ, that scared me a little. <laughs> He's talking some more ammo. And they basically did. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Honestly, it, it seemed like when anyone mentioned when blah, whenever anyone mentioned Wizards of the Coast, usually D and D Beyond was part of that. Oh, so speaking of D and D, so last Saturday at my D and D session, I play as a were shark and a cleric. I have two characters I play as. Oh, I thought the cleric was a were shark. I n no, <laughs> I wish, but no. That's pretty awesome, actually. So. So my cleric, uh, I, I came across this tentacle, I essentially think of that doom monster with the giant eyeball, but he had little tentacles that spawn out with other eyeballs, and each one of them did like all these that, different effects. That's a beholder, you're describing a beholder. A beholder, okay. I, I, look, I'm not familiar with doom. I'm no, getting I'm to that. that you're, I'm, you're describing that in D&D. &D. From doom, well, this is. Uh, oh shit, I can't remember what it's actually called in D&D. Yeah, Kako Demon, thank you. Okay. Well, remember, this is my first campaign, so... Okay, fair mm -hmm. enough. So, I'm... This is just essentially saying, I was like, Oh, look, a Doom guy. Or the Doom creature. Okay, so whatever. So, anyway. So, I was playing this. And the DM was like, Alright, I'm gonna throw this really hard character because we're only, like, level 6 or whatever. And I was looking through my spell list, and I was like, I curse it. And apparently that was the best thing ever because all of the throws were like wisdom saving throws and my curse actually like screwed that over and I was like, oh look, <laughs> bonked with a freaking clergy hammer. It's like, <laughs> I win. Nice. And I just got this bead look and I was like, what? You weren't supposed to figure that out. I know I wasn't. <laughs> I just was like, I curse it because it's probably going to save us. But yeah, no, like, I, I, so, like, the figure I have is the wear shark, is, like, this really cool, like, wear shark, it's made of metal. It's super legit cool. I can, cannot wait to actually try painting it. Man, I really wish I could get into D&D. What's stopping you? I don't that like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, like, it's literally what I should like. It's basically just improv. 
story improv, but like the I don't know what it is, man. I've just had so many bad experiences tangential to it. And while I've had a few good experiences, like playing with uh, Gaelstrom, playing with Steven, I'm just like, it just doesn't interest me. I don't know if it's just the pacing of how D&D &D works, or if I just, I don't find it interesting because it's luck-based, because essentially that's the way you roll your your dice, or if it's just I really hold that big of a grudge from college and the roommates I had who would not stop making me lose sleep because of D&D. &D. Uh, uh, I don't know. It just it, it never clicks with me. It never stays clicked. Well, I, I don't. I don't I, think D&D is inherently bad. I just don't like it. it like it's not. That's me. fair. Yeah. That, I think. I think it just depends on just like the culture and just like really just the just the environment you're in. Yeah. So if you've been in a bad environment, then yeah, that's what you're going to associate it with too, especially with everything. <laughs> At least you don't think it's the devil's game. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh yeah, that killed me. Oh! That's my own fault, that... there were two of them right next to barrels. <laughs> to be fair, you have trouble playing with others in general. You've said you at least like to do stuff like video games solo. I, it, it, I should rephrase that. Co-op. Specifically, I like doing co-op stuff solo. I like playing multiplayer games. But traditionally, co-op always brings out... It, I enjoy solo ver if I have the option versus co-op. That's fair. I have wanted to try to host a uh, d, d game for the mod. I'm sure there's a bunch of mods that would like to do that. Yeah. I know, just, they, I know there's I'm huge interest. Do it again! Oh boy! This, this thing is, I'm already uh, hosting a game, and I don't want to ho uh, work on building two games at once. That's fair. But do you do that? I do, uh... Sorry. No, go ahead. I'm just talking to myself. Yeah. I did buy a module that I want to run sometime, so maybe once I have more spare time, I could probably do it. Uh, the Wild Beyond the Witch Lake. That's supposed to be a good one. My friend, uh, not my current DM, one of my other DM friends, he literally made a Mega Man 2 style D&D campaign. Like, you actually go against all the Mega Man 2 um, robot masters, and we literally play as those different classes. I think the story, the premise was our cla our characters, like in the the D and D realm, were somehow teleported or somehow was warped to a futuristic world, and we're trying to figure out how to get home. But we have to go. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Keep going. So we would. So that's the thing is we literally would just have to try and beat the robot masters and Doctor Wily just to get home, and that's the whole campaign. And we would just go through each of the robot masters' the stage, like what will happen. <laughs> that's actually kind of neat concept. And then the other one he had was a Pokemon D and D, but we would play as certain pokemon with D, D classes if they if they would coincide so if if you were like say healer you would probably be a Bl a chancy a blissy or somebody kind of related like that or if you were kind of like um like a heavy um heavy swordsman probably like one of the heavier pokemon and all that it he had this like all planned out and i was like damn this is actually fucking cool i want to do this I, gotta take I know the feeling the first time i played D, &D the dm kept giving me bad rolls because he thought i was trying to take his girlfriend made me never want to try again wow wow <laughs> thankfully never had that kind of experience but damn talk about insecure fuck jesus christ well, uh, what do you feel about the whole role-playing aspect about D&D, John? I mean, that's just improv. I like improv. Yeah. I don't like, uh, it's, like I said, it's complicated. Like, I don't think d and is bad, and I, if I actually bothered to do it, 
I think I would be good at. I feel like I've proven that with the, the few scenarios I've done. It's just, I, it doesn't interest me. That's fair. Oh, shit! Please don't be any more. Here goes another one! No token. Well, I mean, there was a red dot on the radar, so I wasn't sure. Oh. <laughs> But at the same time, that, like, I I just, I'm not super into board games. I think my mind mentally connects that to a board game. Like, that's, to that's, me, I would, ra this is like a preference thing. Because I would much rather just play a video game with my friends and chat with them while doing that. Versus, like, D&D &D where you can chat with them, but you also have to be, like, chatting about the topic at hand and stuff like that. And, like, in some cases, being in character. And I feel like it just it takes away from the, the socialness of it, ironically, in my mind, takes away from the social aspect I enjoy of just sitting down with friends and playing games. I get a I get less social experience from playing D&D &D than I do with just playing a game, which I know is the opposite for the majority of people, but that's kind of a thing for me. I don't know. It might be just because I, I do Let's Plays, so talking and playing a game is second nature to me at this point. And most of the people around me are the same. So, I mean, I don't know. I Again, this is like my... And this is maybe just becoming... Um, just going past, like... Since this is my very first, like, campaign doing, like, D&D &D and things like that. I kind of told myself, like, I would only do this with friends that I am... I can have company with, and we do. And based on, like, my campaign... Like, we still just... We still just chit-chat. We still chit-chat. We don't really talk about what's at hand unless, like... Hey, you're coming up to like um, this town. What do we? What should we do? And it's like, well, okay, I'm gonna roll for initiative to see what's going on. And I just rolled my dice. Oh, and here, ready? He's a machine. All right, I had to shoot him in the back. High ground. I guess this would be said high ground. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this works then. So going back, so I want. So I think I wonder if you fall down, he's just gonna come charging you. Well, probably. Uh, I just gotta figure out when I get a chance to. The real problem is gonna be trying to get a, like an actual hit on him. The real question I have is, when's my best chance to... There, there's my best chance. Now, of course, it switched back just then and there. Yeah, come on over. Come on over. Uh, it just depends on how fast he gets his... Uh, Oh, he gets the same pretty fucking fast. I've got to try something else. I doubt electricity is going to stun him, would it? It did. It actually did a fair amount of damage. Uh, let's try... I figured as much. It wouldn't. I didn't know a Halo... Uh, I didn't know an Elite from Halo is in here now. Because that's exactly what he sounds like. Hmm. <sighs> Dumb question to ask. Are certain combos, like, if you get certain combinations in your gun, they do, like, a different move together? No. No? Shit. Sure. Decent amount, then. Look how much stamina he's getting back. He's getting it back fast, so I think I've just got to keep going back between the same few. It's a possibility. Oh, unless I miss. If I whiff, I'm in trouble, though. But one thing uh, that also kind of makes or breaks a DM, uh, a DD experience is a DM. I mean, I like, haven't had any bad DMs, I'll be perfectly honest. Yeah. Which is why I know it's a me thing and not a DM thing. Okay. But when I DM, because I've been, I try to be fair. 
like I, when it comes to combat, I don't. I try to keep it well balanced to give them a challenge, but not be too overwhelming. Uh, I try to make. I also try to make you know the story interesting for my players. Like I have the main plot of what I'm trying to do, yeah, but I'm also trying to make little subplots for the play, uh, for players. Like have everyone have their own like subplot connected to the main plot. Sort of give give them the reason why they be involved in what's going on. And I'm also trying to make it so that if they they'll eventually lead to like sort of like a personal quest that will give them uh, their own unique item. But so it's I, also but it's also depends on the style of play too. Yeah. What do so, I do for this guy? Because I feel like I'm doing more damage to him than what I want to do. Is this, is it just the strategy I'm doing? Are you asking a legit question or? Oh fuck! I'm out of I'm out of thud rounds. Ah oh, shit! I think it might be better to restart this fight. Fuck me up. You can't just load your file. I could, but this Ooh. is faster. You're doing it right, John. It's just a small hitbox. Eh. Would using the bees help? No, because they do damage. They do physical damage. Okay. Oh, I wonder uh, if you just have to go. There we go. That's what we need. Yeah, you just saw that too. I wonder if you just have to go in order. Oh, there we go. Problem is, he goes so fucking fast. A lot of people that don't like the D D to do DM to cause a DM to catch raise it. You don't roll until I tell you. Like that, yeah. I don't. I don't do that shit. Like if you feel like if you feel like a skill check will help you in something, and the skill check makes sense for scenario, like okay, go ahead and roll your skill check. I think these two are closer. So this is weird. Oh wait, that one says yeah. permanently off. What the fuck? Oh yeah. So again, I wonder if you just have to go in around in a huge circle. The problem is, like, like Chat was saying, his hitbox is really fucking weird. And he gets his stamina back so fast. And again, his hitbox is so fucking weird. That is garbage. Wow. What if it's not on the pixel of his pink back that the minute he's standing still? Oh my god, it is. You game. Shut up. Yep, he's already got all that stamina he lost back. Important thing, remember, DM me is your storyteller and DM is main characters. To... Yeah, that's that. That's it. I'm as role DM. I'm trying to tell a story, and the player characters are, you know, they're the characters. It's like it's their story. So if you go kill them off, the story's not gonna be interesting at all. Why does that one not always come back? What the fuck? Maybe only after like three? I don't know. That's why I feel like you have to just keep going in a circle. Maybe? Oh, he's down, he's down! Go, 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 go! Get him. Jesus, he almost got back up already. Fuck, that sucked! Be jail time for Freely. Whew, there we go. This boss has to work hitbox in the game, says chat. It's a pixel hitbox? Fuck off, game. This so is anyways. a high skill check and definitely not a fair one. Yes. Well, we got it. That's the important thing. No more worrying about him there. True. But yeah, just to go back to the D&D &D discussion before the boss came. Yeah, just I guess just from my first time doing this and experiencing it, 
I'm having fun, but it's uh, but I guess it's a, just a culmination of I'm with good friends. We're not really being super strict, mm. but I literally have a DM who's been playing this for years, and he knows. Nah, this the more important thing is just to have fun. And again, like we don't really be like, like if we have to talk about certain things, yeah, we'll just talk about the environment. But it's like we still like chit chat to be like, yeah, no, you know, there's all this, you know, what's going on in our lives, and you know, all this. And it also helps too that he also has one of those DM mats that is like all 3D built, so you could just take it apart and then just create like a different environment and all that. So I, I guess it's just it's more the engagement and like seeing like what what's gonna happen. But it's, I guess it's weird. It's, uh, it's like I'm kind of treating D and D like it's it's a it's kind of like in, in terms of just video game technicality, kind of like a Final Fantasy style s game. Yeah. Because you, you, because that's what I usually try and I kind of associate with. You know, it's just I'm I'm kind of playing a real life version of Final Fantasy, except it's not with a controller. It's literally my movements with a dice or whatever. So. I honestly got thought something was gonna start chasing you. No, nope, just wanted wanted to be fancy with a different camera angle. I don't know, man. I think it's just a to each his own situation. Like I said, I don't find it bad at all. It's just like I would much rather spend the time actually just chatting with friends or playing something else, which just works in short bursts. Like I feel like. Uh, a one-shot campaign, to me, in my mind, isn't long enough to get super fun and interesting. At least the ones I've done. And I feel like I don't have the time or want or, or am not able to put in the time to pull off, like, a longer campaign. I don't fault any of my friends for being in D&D, &D, and I never will. But I'm just like, eh, I think it's just, it's just not for me. I'll do it if, like, friends want to do it or if, like, it's a charity thing or whatever. But, like... Eh, I don't go out of my way for it, is what I'm, what I'm basically saying. Understandable. I'll do it if everyone else is doing it, but it is not my first choice. Yeah. No, I'm that's not going to what... be one to try to pressure someone into trying something I'm really interested in. I learned the hard way that, uh, <laughs> that it doesn't end well. That's why we do co-op randomizers of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and Super Metroid combo. Hmm. You can try streaming and having regular Steam for it might allow for a longer campaign. I mean, I have been in a one shot that was streamed. Hey, can you open that gate? But um. Oh, okay. Uh, so I haven't really like I've done it. I just haven't really thought about doing a longer one. The only person I know <laughs> that I that does DMs that streams it on the regular that does long campaigns like a joining would be Brett, and I don't know Brett well enough to just say, hey, get me in there. And also, what happens if I'm not having fun? <laughs> That's fair. That's the thing. I do like, I don't, uh, the reason I'm nervous about ever wanting to get in a longer campaign, especially a stream one, is like, what if I'm not having fun? Then I don't want to just be that guy who's just like, yep, I'm here. I don't want to have the segue or section off all this time in my schedule to just do something I'm not enjoying. Yeah. I do uh, DM and I do stream my uh, sessions. As I just came from a DM D and D stream. It's true. Uh, all right, Fatty McBoom Boom. Let's see what the uh, intro is for this guy. If you're going after Fatty McBoom Boom, you're gonna have to talk to Sky Cart Joe. He runs a sky cart that can take you up to McBoom Boom's lair. Okay, well, that explains how the sky cart works. If you're not having fun, then stop playing. Nobody fault you for that. Yeah, but I I just don't want to be the... I don't want to put people in that situation, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. That's understandable. It's not a confrontation I like to have, being like, yeah, this doesn't interest me. Or I'm not having fun. I don't like being here. Can I leave? <laughs> feels feels jerkish in my mind. Calls over oh, that looks... Things. That looks just... 
yeah. so just ready. You can't hold any more of this item. Sure I wanted to buy the upgrade, so. Okay. We get a new item from time to time. Yeah, hang on, I gotta empty out my inventory. Brett does do guest stars, plus he also does shorter campaigns that aren't one shots. Yeah, like, I was gonna say, the reason I don't do guests, like, would be the same thing. Like, okay, I can't really build up a character like that. I don't know. I got I got weird qualms that I feel are just more me qualms more than anything. I don't know. If you don't feel like you want to play, you can always talk to the DM to see if there's a way to kill off your character. That way, you leave with it being part of the actual story. That's true. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah. I don't know, maybe when I get around to running, uh, uh, fucking Wild Beyond the Witchlight, I could, uh, see if you're up for it. Maybe. We'll see. Uh. I guess, it, I, I guess for me, I guess the biggest thing for me, like, I guess just for my characters, and it, this is probably the wrong way to play about it, but whatever. If one of my characters die, then whatever in the next campaign, I still have that character. Like, I could just reuse that character in another campaign. I guess for me, it's like, this is the character that is here, you know? And if that character gets killed off, well, in the next campaign or in another campaign, there I could just reuse that. That saves me time instead of having to re-roll for, like, all the different characters, the different stats and everything. I already have it. It's right here. Just go about it. I uh, I would definitely love to see you run a one shot and give you a chance to use your creative writing. Maybe I don't know. Like I feel like that would be fun to do, but at the same time I don't know the mechanics well enough. Five B is a very good system to uh, learn a tabletop. I remember when I was trying to kill off a player's character in my current campaign I'm running and the dice just did not let me. <laughs> that that's the other thing too like I think it's just the writer aspect of me is like I hate the I hate the the control of luck although I know that that that's because it's a game. I don't know man, I got I got weird hang-ups. I'm just going to stay I'm just going to call it what it is. I got weird hang-ups. Yeah. I know there is a me thing. Sky card Joe. I try to eliminate the luck aspects if I can. At least, maybe not in combat, but as far as like interaction and like role playing, I try. I try to. I don't So we need to find a bird with a giant top hat. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be too hard to find. Looks like it to me. Yo, Joe, I hear you. Run the sky cart in. Listen, piss off, poor boy. I got better things to do than talk to strangers. <laughs> Hang on. So you, uh, you heard what the five fingers said to the face? Uh, what? <laughs> Okay, I, I love that running when I get back here. I might have to tell you another joke. Oh, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> good use good use of dad jokes. Solve the puzzle. What did the five fingers say to the face? Yeah, I'm, I'm having. I'm expecting him at some point to say "knock knock" to him if he if he does something to kind of screw us over. Although I'm expecting now that we punch him in the face, he's gonna try to fuck us over at some point. <laughs> or you know, I've slammed my face enough into enough walls. I think we'll be fine. I just love that he said "Yo, Joe." Would you watch a D and D series like Critical Role or The Unexpectables or any of Brett's sessions? I don't currently. 
I could try. I've tried watching Brett's and just, like I said, D and D doesn't interest me. So watching it is just like, eh. I haven't tried watching Critical Role. I'll admit that, and I know that's what got a lot of people into D and D. So maybe that's the thing I need to give a shot. But I don't know. It's it's hard when the core concept doesn't interest me. So it's just like, okay, well, let's see if this will sell me on it. You gonna run this sky cart for me? Yeah, yeah. Just get on. It. What did he just say? I hope they kick your ass. I gotta tell you another joke. It's what five fingers plus five fingers meet your face. No, you, you, you go knock knock. <laughs> knock knock. It's knuckles. So I, I told myself this vacation, I'm gonna go see the Sonic 2 movie. Nice. When you, you got your tickets bought yet, or are you just waiting to see? Um, I have... I know a local theater that runs, like, really late movies, so I'm just gonna go in when nobody really comes in. God. Not bad. Sadly, I'm gonna have, probably end up waiting until the, uh... the alarm goes off. I'm gonna be, end up waiting until it goes to digital. Well, that's why, like, I... This is the only exception on why I'm doing it, because I know the hours, and I know for a fact nobody goes to those t types of show -ins, so I'm like, I will have a place to myself. I'm okay with this. <gasps> Alright, well, that was the alarm to go to break, so how about we go to break? Alrighty then, let's drop some eggs. What is that middle gif? Which one? The top. It's from Dr. Stone, I believe, is what chat said. <laughs> Interesting. That's a very psychedelic gif. Captain Joe and Vanimal, thank you for the gift subs. Zeta Program 142 for 15. Matrix Peachy for 52. Dragonfire 1054 for 54. Nice. Uh, Anastasia Zahn for 99. Uh, I'm going to butcher this one. Uh, S. Gothara. E S G O T H A R A 90. S. Gothara 90 for 3. Still for 25. Uh, Ryugan Knight for 39, Raz Dingo for 75, Drake F for 19, Tangerine Pond, welcome to the stream, congrats on the new sub, thank you, appreciate it, and Omitsu for 44. Thanks for seven folks, your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Got one, and it's from Princess Skylar. Something to the lovely artists of the egg pack. Okay, I don't know if this is going to, like, actually, like, make it into the, uh, egg spin or not. But, uh, this is just something I want to say to the egg pack real quick. Specifically the, uh, uh the, uh, artists of it. Something that kind of came to me while I was working on a, a really important art piece that I won't talk about until I finish. While I was working on the art piece, I chose a more complex pose and angle than I'm used to. And while I was working on it, I was, I was kind of struggling a smidge. And I was even regretting picking the pose that I chose because I was like, Oh my god, this is not turning out well. It's, this is not turning out how I want it to look. It's not going to look good at all. And then I was beginning to regret drawing it out because I thought that it wasn't going to be good enough. And then another thought came to me soon after I started thinking that. That very thought was, if you want to improve as an artist, you have to try to challenge yourself. And it's okay if you can't get it down on the first try. So for any artists out there who are like, self-conscious of our arts and stuff, and think that they're not doing good enough, don't hold it against yourself if it doesn't turn out perfect the first time. Just... Be happy that you did it in the first place. And if you keep up the work that you're doing, then you're going to 
get the results that you want eventually. So don't beat yourself up if something doesn't go as you planned. In the end, just be happy that you did it in the first place, alright? Alright, now I'm gonna stop fucking around and get back to that art piece, because it's kind of important that I finish it. And you'll see why I hope sometime this week, maybe? Alright, I'll stop wasting time now. Uh, have fun, Eggpack. Have fun, John, with your stream. And, uh, uh, please do not touch the blender. Okay, bye. Well spoken, Skylar. Not not an egg, but well spoken. Thank you. That is a that is a lesson I have a hard time learning when doing art. All right, uh, we're gonna get a break. When we come back, art block and continuing Odd World. See you guys in a bit. And while I'm gone, uh, where was that one again? Yeah. Hello? Hi. Okay. Hi, chap. If you can hear me, just say Mario. Uh... Uh-oh. Yeah, they can hear us. Okay, cool. Yes. It's just John that's having issues, well, which, you know, par for the course here. Um, hmm. How's everyone doing? Crimson, we haven't talked in a while. How are you? I've been doing all right. That's Had good. New gaming PC. It's been working Ooh, pretty well. I know. I I can't wait to start building my own when I have the parts. <sighs> I think you're right. I think I think bagels involved. Call it a hunch. Uh, we need to play Clue. Who is Bagel in John's room with his teeth? Hmm. Chuck. Let's talk for a little bit. How are we all doing? Oh, we're good. doing good. <clears throat> I'm doing alright. Thumbs up, Zan Ryzen. Thank you. <laughs> are we? <laughs> are we in trouble? Question time. Chat, do you got questions for us? So, chat, I was, I, 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 I'm kind of curious. I, I kind of want to get an input real quickly. So, 
we were thinking about. There's the music. Yeah, I'm back. Welcome back. What color? What is the color of a triangle? Anything you want. Favorite Rosa John version, the one that John showed off on during the art block with the skin tights on the rollerblades, that picture. I think that was cool. Mm. Do we watch do we watch Critical Role? I don't. I because this don't is literally that. this is literally the first time I'm doing D D. Crimson, do you? Uh, no, actually. I just prefer to play the game rather than watch it. Okay. Did I use all my luck in the Uno in Uno the movie? No. Play any card games? Well, besides Uno Online from that fun money match. Um... You know what's actually been interesting? Um... Smash Tunes. Uh... I see on his Twitter, I always been looking at the old Yu-Gi-Oh! I kind of want to go ba get back into it. But only just the old school style of Yu-Gi-Oh! As weird as that sounds, because I, honest to God, I don't think I can play the newer versions. I cannot. <laughs> I <shit>. really just <laughs> can't, uh... I just really, uh... Can't get into Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. Well, I still have all my cards, but, like, I can't really do anything really beyond Synchro Summons. I can't do the Pendulum Summons. I can't do whatever the flick else they've done. That's just like, well, this yeah. is gone. Goodbye. <laughs> they, they, they made, they made some special something so freaking convoluted now. All right. <clears throat> Glitchwiz says, Hey, John, I wanted to donate a game. However, the game could only be gifted on Steam. How would that work out? Uh, I can add you on Steam if you want to do that. I, yeah, I can, I can do that. I think there's like a weird cooldown now for gifting a game. It's like three days of being on someone's friend list or something weird like that. Or did they change that again? Steam keeps changing their rules constantly. But yeah, you'd probably have to add me on Steam at that point. Zan Rising says, Yo, John, enjoying my week off this week, so just wanted to chime in about the D&D discussion. It's the most popular tabletop RPG, but I can tell it's not something that would hold your interest for long. Instead, I recommend a co-op storytelling game like Fiasco. Okay, I am not familiar with Fiasco. What is that? I've never heard of Fiasco either. Do tell. Fiasco, a game about powerful ambition and poor impulse control. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, this looks interesting, actually. Oh. Fiasco is an award winning storytelling game inspired by cinematic tales of small time capers gone disastrously wrong. You'll tell a story about ordinary people with powerful ambition and poor impulse control. Lives and reputations will be lost, painful wisdom will be gained. And if you're really lucky, you just might end up back where you started. You probably won't be lucky. Two hours to play around, three to five players, ages 14 plus. This looks interesting. This might actually be up my alley. Are we doing a stream of this? It's a it's a card game. I have to physically get it. I mean, there could be a digital version, like, you know, there, board game. There probably uh, is a digital version, I'm guessing. Yeah, apparently Zugs says you can play it on Roll20. Also includes player reference cards. You supply the friends and a dark sense of humor. Yeah, that's probably why. It's, that's probably why it looks like it'll be up my alley because of the dark sense of humor. <laughs> well, that's cool. I'll have to look into that some other time then. But yeah, I was actually thinking about it too. Did you get my email regarding the PlayStation 4 Pro? No, Kay. Kay, that's my first time hearing that. Hang on, let me check. Let me check the business email. Um, uh, sorry, I got sidetracked on that. Uh, I was wondering too, could it possibly be, I, it doesn't interest me because of my ADHD. I don't know if that's actually a thing because I feel like other people I know that do have 
ADHD still play, so I, I think, I don't think that's an aspect, but I figured I might as well ask. Because I'm just trying to find a legit reason for why I would not be interested in it. I think people in chat saying, yeah, I have ADHD and I still play D&D. Yeah, that's what I figured. So I figured I that was yeah, the main no. aspect of it. Uh, Kay, I don't see it in my inbox. You sure you got... When did you send it? Oh, wait. No, there it is. Why did... February 22nd and April 10th. Why the fuck did I not see either of these? What the fuck? Motherfucker, there we go. Now I know why I didn't see it. You're right. So, uh... So, what happens is my work email filters to another email address. It's a redirect. Um, but it's also an address I use. And it wasn't... It was tagged perfectly fine in the work email. The redirect got tagged as spam, so I never saw it. Uh oh So that's why I missed that, Okay, Sorry. I'm gonna leave this open here now, and I will respond to you. I, well, I can respond to you now if you want. I'll just, I can read it right now. I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty reasonable. I'm gonna be real with you. What you've written here is pretty reasonable. Yeah, no, dude. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do this. I would love to. I would love to to pick that up from you. Uh, I will leave this hey, here. Okay, if I do not respond to you t by tomorrow evening, send me another email reminder, and I will check the work email. Uh, but yes, I would absolutely love to. We can definitely work something out. Is it with box and everything, or is it just the system and controller? Because either way, I'm, I'm either way I'm interested. There we go. I'll leave that open so I see that. And apparently, I need to check my redirect filters now. Apparently, yeah. No, then I'm 100% down, dude. I've been looking for one of those for a while. So you'd actually be doing me a solid. And yeah, uh, MSRP is fine. Would rather you got your money's worth out of it too. Uh, Zan Rising. We already just read that one because it was fiasco. Thank you, Zan, for suggesting that. Bleach Bummer says, "Hey, John. So I'm still wondering if you did accept the Jurassic World Aftermath game I gifted you on Oculus. As I got a message, I got refunded. Oddly, if not, I can send a discount code or send it again. Next paycheck or both." Speaking of that game, I legit had the best moment where I mistook where the Velociraptor was and ended up accidentally walking into, it didn't even trigger the chase, it and getting a game over by my own hands as I thought it was coming somewhere else. Uh, I haven't booted up my Oculus in a while. I'm actually supposed to boot it up soon to test something. I really should have done that, but I've been sidetracked with other things. But, uh, yeah. I didn't accept the game because I never saw the prompt. So I didn't know that it would have gotten returned to you. So if that happened, I'm sorry. That's my fault. I can pick up the game then. It's because it's my fault it would have went away. No, dude, don't worry about it. Don't worry, K1. I'm, just, I'm happy that... I'm glad you pointed it out because I had no idea. That definitely got would have gotten missed and I would have felt awful. Well, apparently you sent the first one in February, so I feel super bad about it now. Have I ever played Betrayal on the House on the Hill? Uh, I might be confusing that with a different game. Hang on, let me double check. I know what. That's a fun one. I know what that one. So do I. The box looks familiar. Uh, that actually has online play. I know that for a fact. This is not the one where. You, is this the one where you make a room? 
Is this one where yeah. you make the layout of the of the? Uh... Yeah, you you basically built the map. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I only played it eventually... once, but I thought it was neat. Eventually, once you like flip over like certain like map cards, uh, it makes a scenario, and your role in the scenario is dependent on the character you choose. Right, because you have certain characters that have di different certain attributes. You know what we really just need to do one night? Like, just on, like, a Wednesday, oh, or whatever Wednesday? We need to do, like, an online, uh, like, a tabletop simulator. And actually do, like, some of the board games we talk about. Glitch, I, uh, I sent you the, I accepted the invite. The request, rather. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case... Let's get back on track a little bit here. There's only two pieces in our block, so we'll get through our block pretty fast. But one of them is very cursed. Define curse. It's pretty cursed. I hate everything in my being! Has anyone drawn Kirby's the Burger What game? is the Oh, shit? no, no, what have you done? Berg. Berg, this is what happens when you shitpost when I'm around. Rota Eve, compare me to a metronome where I go back and forth from wholesome to this, and I can kind of get one. Fair enough. This is this is cursed, but like it's like a fitting curse, really. And the other piece I got here in our block is it looks like it's a Barra Rosa. Look at them abs. Look at them guns. From Art of Not TM. So you don't have the question at this time around. TM is pronounced like TM. Oh, TM. Probably I just go by T. Okay. Yeah, I'm like maybe 2% sorry this image exists, but you said go draw a Barra character on Saturday when commenting on my art, so I did this for you. Okay, probably shamelessly did this for myself. So, Barra Rosa John, yay. Also, didn't plan on rendering any of these, but my stylist slipped. Whoops, it looks nice though. Look at them damn abs. You got great cheese on them. I like how you also made a bunny suit for Barra Rosa as well. Nicely done. Very nicely done. That's not Barra, he needs to be thicker. I mean, that that's true. That they they could step it up, but I mean, it's still pretty Barra. Just it's just not Fist of the North Star Barra. Alright. Thank, thank you for the anything art, folks. Top, thank I don't you think anything can top Fist of the North tar, Star uh, Barra. Uh Baki the Grappler, uh Hajimino Ipo. There's a lot for for the super. And that's just, that's just the clean stuff. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, Thanks I know, I know what those, those are. Uh, I love Let's animes. get this out. And now we're back to the game. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wolf, I'm sorry. I just saw what you wrote. You ever type something and then instantly reread and regret your words all the time, but still made me laugh when I read what <laughs> you wrote? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out of politeness for them, I'm not reading it out again, but. <laughs> I Still made me shit. laugh. Uh, <laughs> alright. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. It's nothing bad, it's just funny. Okay. Let's turn on that so last John, timer. So, John, qu question. How do you? How would you feel about like a a board game tabletop simulator night for a whatever Wednesday? Maybe. Uh, so what? What is it people use now? Because I know tabletop sim pissed off a lot of people. So do people use a D roll twenty now, or is it? Or is tabletop sim still considered like the standard? I I remember finding about about like a web based uh, tabletop like simulator. Like not like I forgot what it was called though. Oh, how about the board? tabletop? I see a board game arena, tabletop simulator. Board game arena, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Who just sent me that? 
Um, I does anyone remember when the world tabletop sims devs did? I they they pissed off a lot of people. Uh, and I'm trying I, to remember. I can't remember the full details. But it was also oh, like it, it was like a year plus ago now, so I don't remember. I just remember the the anger. They got in trouble it. because of chat rules. You couldn't talk about your sexuality about getting products about the mods of the in the game. Oh right, yeah, no, they they had a weird ban on like talking about even if you were like LGBT. That's what it was. Yeah, it. They made some. Wait, wasn't it? It was. It was. It was like it was in their Discord. So then they extended the ban to the game. Was that what it was? Was it something weird like that? It was yeah. from like even from like a sure let's sure whatever let's talk about anything not political not sexual that was really fucking weird even from that angle it's just like what the fuck uh, apparently it was anti LGBTQA plus stuff yeah the people have done write ups about it I don't remember the full details but there was there was a time for a while that people were like yeah no just don't support tabletop sim. They were getting review bombed for a while, and then it, I think it turned around. I, like I said, this was a year plus back at this point. I do not remember this. Yeah, anti-LGBT stuff was targeted, but anything cis was fine, apparently. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Well, that answers that, then. The squirrel just has a little two megaphones on his well, head. He's got, he's got a headset, too. Like, he's got a little headset. I know, and, he, too. and with a little mic, he's just, like, ready for, like, to do stuff. It's adorable. <laughs> oh, crap. I missed. Oh, you don't see me. You don't see me. Okay, don't mind I'm me just using my vacuum. The... Don't mind me using my vacuum. Oh, I see that gunner coming though. Uh, Camille in the mod chat vouched for kid working Marina's sister, her sister, and used the dirt pet to play board games with uh, her mom and had no problems. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know that for a while, like, I know that tabletop's considered the gold standard, but then I know people were talking about alternatives for a while. I just didn't remember any of them. Because again, not super into tabletop games. Yeah. Oh, but John, you don't want to play a five-hour game on a Monopoly? Here's the thing. I kind of like that. I mean, how many times have you played Forza Street on TRG? Exactly. Exactly. Like, it's the, the simpler board games I don't mind. Like, that's why I like Clue so much. Uh, and honestly, like, if I could find enough people that were, like, regular commentators that wanted to do a Monopoly stream, I'd fucking do a Monopoly stream. I wouldn't mind doing a Monopoly stream. Okay, Wednesday, okay, this Wednesday we're doing a Monopoly stream. This Wednesday's Mario Party, nice try. I've got guests, I've got MC, Motion Dan, and Attacking Toucans joining, that ain't happening. Nice try. I, I, did, I, I, I didn't say, I didn't say, okay, not next, okay, next Wednesday. How about next Wednesday? I'm in. Uh, was that Dan? No. Oh, that was Shamrock. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, just, I just heard I'm in as I was going, um, so I couldn't tell who actually came in. <laughs> uh, oh. If you're doing Monopoly, I'm in. All right. We just got to find the version that doesn't crash. Because I know there's a, I know the Ubisoft did the current Gen One, and I think depending on what platform you play it on, it has some issues. But that's par for the course at times. Code names is fun. Ooh, yeah, and that's got its own website you can use for that, which makes it a lot easier. What game? Code names. Uh, you get split up into two teams. And uh, one person is the code master, and the others are just like spies on their team. The code master has to use this this list of like cards that are on this on the table to say to get people to figure out what are their actual code words. Like, so there's certain cards that on the bottom are red, certain cards are blue, and I think one is black. And if you pick that one, you end the game, and you lose. So you have to get your team to pick all of their cards that are their color, but you have to phrase it in a way that doesn't tell the other team what cards are specifically yours, because then that narrows down the ones that they have left to pick up. 
So it'll be like, let's say it's like a bunch of random words, uh, and you say like, okay, I have to give you a hint. The hint is Fox 3. So that means there are two, uh, chat, you'll have to remind me of this, I might remember this wrong. There are three cards on the table that the word Fox would connect to in some way, like orange, fluffy, or uh, animal, and you have to pick those up. But you have to make sure that the hint is not too vague that other words could be it instead. Yeah, but I'm trying to remember, if you say the number, is the number you mean like they have to pick three cards, or is it that if you're saying three, that means there's actually four with that, or are there two that are right and one's an extra? I can't remember. I think it is just they're, they want you to pick up three cards of that symbol. Is it also a word that has to be a, a rule that has to be a single word clue? Yes. Oh, they, oh, that's what it is. That's the thing I couldn't remember. They can pick three plus one. So they can pick more cards. They can take a chance. That's what it is. Thank you, Chad. I could not... It's been a while since I've played. But yeah, so like, it's just like a pile of cards. You give a, a one word hint and they have to figure out if they can get their own cards of the right color. If they pick the opponent's color, they their turn ends immediately and the other team gets a point. So the challenge is that whoever gets all their cards done first, that's it. They're the winner. Very interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. No. Uh, Code Words is actually really fun. I I do recommend that one. That's one of the few uh, card games I've played I liked. Because it, it's pretty simple. It's a, it's a very easy to pick up, very fast game. Have you ever played Munchkin? Oh yeah, God! I played tons of Munchkin back in the day. Oh man! I anytime used to love anytime it. I tell people about Dokapon, I usually say like, yeah, it's it's basically like Munchkin. <laughs> Like somebody didn't grab the wrong one. You know what? If we could find an online version of Munchkin, that would be something fun for a stream. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. So, Gartic phone stream? I mean, I can barely draw. But it could be fun. A TMNT Munchkin? Probably. There's a. Oh, there's I guess a it, it does exist. That? They just said it does. Okay. The Disney version of Code Words uses picture as an alternative as well as words. It's been interesting playing with my cousins. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> That'd be an interesting code word. Diamond 3. Which one has a diamond? They all do! And that's basically how Code Wars works. Munchkin's an acquired taste, but I dig it. I mean, the, the thing with Munchkin is there's so many car- the, the power creep in Munchkin is insane. There's so many times you can be in a situation where it's like, well, the game's about to end. Oh, no, wait, no. If I do this, this now it's going to end with this person winning. Oh, but if we play this card, then everything gets reset to step one and the entire game starts yeah. over. Yeah. Munchkin has, it has, is entertaining because of how easy it is to fuck people over, but at the same time, that can sometimes be its downfall. I gotta take out... <laughs> <laughs> Munchkin is a lesson on power gaming and how not to act at a D&D table. <laughs> not wrong. And then somehow the cleric wins divine intervention. Yep, that's a card. Literally, if you're a certain class and that card gets played, you just, you just win and no one else does. Unless you have a card that either cancels that out or is the... Does Duck of Doom cancel Divine Intervention or is it the other way around? Or am I thinking Deus Ex Machine? I... No, Deus Ex Machine Gun. That's what it is. God, it's been so long since I've played that <laughs> Deus Ex Machina. Fuck off. Boom. No, that's, that's literally what it is. It's Deus Ex Machine Gun. It's a machine gun that literally just stops Divine Intervention from happening. I gotta 
take out Batty McBoom Boom. <laughs> well said, stranger. Well said. Take out Batty McBoom Boom. How did I get him too? Actually in sniper range. Oh, yeah, there I am. So, uh, some contact posted the mod heard about tabletop sim. Uh, mods would ban you from global chat for ever mentioning being gay or cis or anything you like because it didn't pull on the chat about uh, uh, board games, according to them. Uh, but they will let really off a topic and SW stuff in chat stay. I also, like they silence people on the forum for even talking about the situation. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's kind of hard pass. Yeah, you either ban it all or just admit you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I can understand why they gotten so much shit now. Uh, let's see here. Since we're going for a ride, I probably can't do anything with uh, capture, so let's use some bees! What if you said you were straight? Apparently that was fine, and that's why people were upset. They, they drew, they didn't draw the line completely. They specifically targeted one side. All right, so so okay, so we need a, a perfect Donkey Kong rail music for this. Sorry, um, do 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 do. No, I can't do it, Chip. Uh oh. Wait, why am I not moving anymore? Oh, cause I'm done. Well, I guess I don't need the bees anymore. Nice. nice shot. Nice. It's, it's literally an AOE explosion. Alright, where are we getting shot from? Oh, crap. Oh, never mind, we're good. Oh, me, we're not good. Oh, he's got armor. Oh, he's got armor. Wait, why isn't that working? Oh no, did that take out the ability to do what I've been doing earlier? Shit. So those guys can break out of the webbing, but originally with the other the older version of the weapon, you could fire it and they would capture for a split second, and if you had the vacuum ready in that split second, they gave you the pickup. Oh so nice. I, I guess this AoE one does not get that benefit. Been a while since the last stream of this prior to Luigi's 3 being done, but wasn't one of the bounty just yo mama jokes? Yeah. That's exactly what it is. One of the one of the targets was literally just Joe Joe Mama. And and Stranger kept giggling every time he was like talking about it too. Guess I gotta go get Joe Mama. <laughs> time to go find Joe Mama. How many bounties are there? Um, I'm trying to remember, because someone said there were three towns, and then after that, the game goes in a wildly different direction. And this is town three we're in right now, so. And I think this is also the last bounty in town three, so after this, the game's gonna change, apparently. Which, considering some of the things I've seen hinted, uh, I can agree. Gotta bag your mama. Don't you just love 
good word plays in like video games. At that fun, you, that's fun, good word play. That's not just an awful pun. Yeah, that's that shit's fun. But it, it's it's a it's a dying art. It's a little hard to do well. It is, but man, like when it's pulled off so well, it's like, damn, I gotta give it to you. That was good. No houses. No. no buildings. No buildings, only chaos. And screaming, apparently. <laughs> Wonder how John feels about Ace Attorney names then? I roll my eyes constantly. I still love the games, but I roll my eyes constantly. Checkpoints. Oh, there's a lot. Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to bonus round. Survive. Can't grab you. Oh fuck. Oh come on, I can't fucking run because it's uphill. Sit down. What's wrong with Luke at me? I don't know what could possibly be wrong with that name. What could possibly be the pun in that one? Sit down. Name, Ted Tonate. Job bomb disposal expert. God, it, uh, it really is like that sometimes, isn't it? Oh, Ace Attorney. Oh, the money just bounces away. I'm full of bees. <laughs> well, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. What about visual puns? Is it really a pun if it's visual? Isn't that just a like visual gag at that point? But I mean, again, if it's done well. Uh, I think we got a problem. <laughs> well, if you're thinking, son, then we really do have a problem. <laughs> All right, now listen up. I want your boys to shoot the head off anybody that moses on in here. No way anyone's getting me without a fight. He's got a bazooka. Fantastic. Ah, uh, Steam's doing that stupid thing again where I get a pop up saying someone sent me something, but I can't look at it unless I log back in. Mm. Hate when it does this. Hang on, let me see. Oh, I've heard of this one. Do I? I thought I had that on Switch. I guess not. I thought I had Annalyn. I do not. All right. Well, thank you, Glitch. Thanks for sending that. I'll make sure it gets put in the backlogger. Let's see if we can deal with this guy now. Roll, yeah. 
Something tells me this fight's not going to be easy. Although if they keep doing this, maybe it will be. That's what I gotta watch out for though. Oh boy. Thank you, tree. Oh, fuck. Oh, he just came right for me. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. Hey, well, if you're ready for a fight, then I'm just going to save and I'll just bring the fight to you. Did I lose? Well, are you just being quiet? Uh, no. Uh, I'm just being quiet. Sorry. Uh, I was eating. Okay. I was just checking. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I didn't want you guys hearing nom 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 <laughs> nom. I was just making sure there was nothing nothing going on there. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I was sorry. I was I had a little snack because my hung I was getting a little hungry. I get a bit hungry too. I might go grab a snack. This even though it was like three. I was gonna say it's super late where you are right now. I'm surprised you even considered yeah, uh, I, I, right now. My uh, schedule changed. I'm I'm on like mainly nights. Actually, no, I am on nights for now on. So I'm just like, you know, fuck it, I can stay up now. Well, I'm on vacation, so this is my time I get to actually do this kind of shit. So <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Ever had a sandwich at 1 a.m.? No, I had one at 3 a.m. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Is that, is that nope, making nope. it make? No, nope, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, I pushed it. But that's why is I'm that, gonna save before I made that move. Is that why that's their insult? Is they'll just go to your corpse and just stomp on it? Oh, right, because I saved right after I switched it out. Well, this but is yeah, a uh, terrible idea right now. And somehow it's going to work magically. There's nothing that's going to happen. See, I'm right. How? What? Why? Don't push it. You know he, what happens when you oh, he say things. Yeah, he literally wasn't looking at me because I wasn't looking at him. Okay. Whatever. I'll take it. I guess let's fuck with him then, I guess. Ooh! He's oh, he's rocket jump towards me. Oh, he's come to say hi. Oh my God! This I had to say, I, get! I think that damn. The strategy was working, but that guy, that machine gun guy, was fucking me up. Oh, you jump into me. That saves me some trouble. Well, not only that, but you could also use that uh, staircase for cover. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't realize that did damage. I thought I just put him towards me. Oh, I I'm... S what? I had no health wow. off too, so I'm not surprised. All right, we, that machine gun guy is a major problem. I wonder we, if we gotta do something about him in particular. We may have to. I wonder if we just need to do like group attacks. How long is this is game? I don't have that many group attacks. How long is this game? Someone's asking in chat. Uh, oh shit! He's coming to say hi. Yeah, he sure did. And it was not nice. Uh, I don't remember the actual length of the game. I think it was 20 hours. Did you just got hit with a rocket in the face? Yeah. Just shake yourself off. Yeah, shake it off. That was, yeah, just shake it yeah. off. You'll be fine. Shake, shake it off. You're good. 
Holy shit, he is playing completely differently right now. Oh my god. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I wouldn't recommend shaking off while you're on uh, under fire. We still got like four guys left here. Yeah, you never shook a rocket off? Shit, it's easy. I actually have. It's called Halo. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Armor Lock. It's, it's called PF2 and just being overheal. Still see four dots is the only thing. So are there just four that just constantly stay spawned in, and I've just been getting unlucky, or what? I'm, I wonder. I wonder if you could trick the boss to come to you, to where the other, the other. Do you mean what Holy... he literally just did? <laughs> right, but then his other minions won't follow. You know I what mean, I mean? I mean that's actually what I should do. I just have to get in the right position to put him in a stun lock. Uh, let's see if I can. And I just hear him jumping towards you. Yeah. He, he does the rocket jump, then he runs back. So if I can get him in a loop. But the problem is, as you can see, uh, he's not really giving me a chance to do anything. And his minions are still around. I should be careful, I'm wasting these. Also, that thing is homing, which also is not doing me any fit. That I'm dead. How am I not dead? That's why I'm dead. I was gonna say the no tree matter was what, actually four dots stayed there the entire time. I wonder if you need. I wonder if you need like a distraction. Hmm. I'm guessing I, I don't have a choice. I I have to just go for it. I think those are ind indefinite enemy respawns. It's gotta be, right? Well, like I said, I it looked like that one staircase corner was your best shot. It yeah, covered it really, you from- It really does. Now the rocket being homing doesn't do me any favors either. Well, that's when you force him to come to make his little jump and then just go ham on him. Here he comes. Hang on. I don't think I'm ready for him. It sounds like he also does an audio cue too. He does. Uh, he's been doing it the entire time. It's just every time I've not been ready for it. That fucking splashback. Wolf Man's asking, is this game on the Switch? Yes. Not the version I'm playing, but the game is on Switch. Hey, hey, can can you guys calm the fuck down over there? Oh shit, I did the wrong button. That goddamn jump does how much? There's a rocket. He's Why can't I pick him up? Thank you. Got him. Boom, boom, I say. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, fucker. Are they still in? Oh my god, they didn't despawn these fuckers. Are you kidding me? Oh, we might still what? die. I'm saving. What? Well, this is now a great time to say, kill him. Why kill him when Spider-Man's here? <laughs> there was three of them the whole time. Hey, See, one now, of them was that now blue someone's guy someone's not you shooting like. homing rockets at me, I can deal with them properly. There's another dot, so, oh, what? Ah! Didn't see you there before.
All right, there we go, we're good. Heck yeah. So that should be the end of the third town. Now I'm wondering what the hell's gonna happen to the story. Top Hat Chicken Man is just gonna be like, hey, guess what? I'm fucking you over now. He probably <laughs> will. Or maybe he'll be happy that we got rid of the guys probably blackmailing him. Although I think maybe they were the ones giving him money. Hey, you took my income. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Guess what? Clock, clock, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I thought you just fell to your death. I'd be like, wow, what a dick move. I don't know if that could even happen. Like, maybe? But for the most part, it's all been pratfalls. How old is this game? What, 2000? Uh, 2006, I believe. Actually, no, it would have been earlier than that because the 360 would have been out in 2006. So maybe it was 2004. Let's find out. Two thousand five, in between January twenty fifth, two thousand five. All right, that's town three done now. Let's see what the hell's going to happen. Again, Top Hat Chicken's just gonna double cross us. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put some egg points in that. One thousand. One dollar, Bob. Well, let's go to at least see if he does that. No, he's gonna release all the bad guys you got. Because they're alive. Well, he doesn't even work at the jail. What if I had murdered Maybe him? Maybe he. No, he's not even here. So he's either gone, gone, or I'm gonna see him. Or I'm gonna see him on the way to town. Hey, why don't we save? And a lot of save. Good idea. And a lot of save when we get into town if there's anything important. Oops, almost. Almost clean. Got me McBoom Boom. Now to cash him in. All right, and with that, that should be all the ones in town. What goes boom boom clank clank? Fatty being thrown in jail. That wasn't really funny, was it? Well, you tried. Seventeen forty, not bad. Well, looks like you got them all, stranger. Hey, and uh, Doc called in about you. Wants you to head up the river to see him. You should talk to the barge keeper. He'll take you up now that it's all clear. All right. Well, guess we're going up river now. They're gonna send you up the river. I knew it. Oh, yo, Vega, I saw your tweet about getting the Coliseum shirt. And you see, you're saying it's comfy. Good to know. We went with a slightly different build this time around. I was a little worried, but I'm glad you're saying it's comfy. I still haven't gotten my shirt. Take a look at my inventory. Well, people are only getting emailed about it, like, the past couple days, so... Oh, uh, okay. If you haven't gotten an email about yours yet, then, like, don't worry. It'll happen eventually. Most people should be getting emails yeah, this week. Yeah, a lot of people saying theirs is on the way. Mm -hmm. 
And Gex, you're on the mod list anyways. Oops, sorry. You're on the mod <laughs> list for, for yours anyways, so I don't know when those are going to be... Those might get shipped out slightly later. Oh, I don't care. I was just wondering. I just love the... Just the sound effect you run in. Pool. Eh, close, eh, enough. close enough. What was the password? Nothing new in either shop. We're done here. Although I'm worried about it getting here because the UPS warehouse in my city exploded and burnt to the ground. What? Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. We need to hit the rewind button. What? Uh. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna take a little bit before that one shows up. C -c call it a hunch. Oh, by the way, speaking of shirts, did you see what the new Yetis ones are? No. <laughs> Check mod room. I might have to get one of them. They seem neat. I want the toad shirt. <laughs> yeah, if I was gonna get any of them, it would be the toad shirt. Okay, who do I talk to? I need to get through that gate. The port authority is in full operation. I didn't even see a barge. Oh, now I think I do now. Nope, I did not. Unless that is the barge. That actually is the barge. Okay. Hey, barge boy. You know where I can find the Doc's office? Yeah, Doc's up river. Hop on the barge, I'll take you there. There we go. Thanks that was really fast. Yeah, uh, no problem, partner. Uh, give a big howdy to that outlaw. I, I, I mean, the dog from the group. Sorry, what there, bird? I couldn't hear. Oh! And he's dead. Damn, they strung up Doc. How am I gonna get the well. surgery now? That smells like a setup. <laughs> Where it is, stranger? You found yourself a steep. Oh, well. Top moolah for the heads. So, where is it, stranger? I ain't. Telling you, squat. Then it's your way. Beat it out, boys. We want that twenty grand. Oh Man. right. So, so this this story beat happened previous stream. So uh, we are trying to sell uh, a, a rare creature's head to someone for twenty grand, so we can afford our surgery. But the guy we were trying to sell it to also called up. A hunter saying like, "Yo, this this dude says he's got one of these. Like, I need you to take him out, and I'll pay you a different fee instead of what he wants." So th this guy finally showed up. Now we have to deal with him. Well, he just killed the guy. I think that was gonna pay him. No, he killed the guy that was supposed to do our surgery. Oh. I swear, I had a deja vu about this. Especially that one cutscene. I was like, that looked really goddamn familiar. Deja vu. 
Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what exactly happened, but from what I saw, people said that they heard some kind of boom, and then the entire place was up in flames. They said it was a complete loss and that they lost everything, including the warehouse, a bunch of trucks, and a few delivery vans. They're currently ruling out foul play from what I understand. All I know is that I saw the smoke driving to help out my uncle's shop that day. Jesus. Holy oh, wow. shit. Especially if it's a complete loss. Holy shit, that's a complete meltdown then. Okay, maybe shooting the exploding barrel was a bad idea. Uh, only when there's no not enough people around. I think it's time to bring the boom. Regret this. All right, hold it, boys. Hold it. Now listen, stranger. Maybe we can work mm. this out civilized like. Huh? We want that Steve too. But hang on. We can get it together. And then right, hold down it, boys. What? Hold it. If this no. listen, stranger. What? Maybe we can work uh, civilized like. Why did why did it do that? Uh, why is it replaying the cutscene? Steve too. Uh. We can get it together. And then split it down the middle. 50-60. That don't add up. Secrets, claws, and enemies. A stranger's demise. Hey, hey boss. Stranger's coming too. Guess why he doesn't have the head. Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's the one that brought in Blister's booty. <sighs> Well, if it ain't the big bad bounty hunter. So, stranger, all we need to know is where's the steef? <laughs> Hold it. Interesting twist. Alright, but I don't have my weapons. Oh. Use left trigger for spinning punch, right trigger for a ramming attack, and knock enemies into the fires. Oh boy. Uh. I think this is pure kill. This is pure kill. And I'm dead! Oh, the whole explosion's around. So, that was a twist. Yep. So to summarize the reveal, he was the creature they were all wanting to hunt in the first place. 
That explains the weird reaction he had when he was trying to find uh, ways to get the money. <laughs> but that's why he wants the surgery, though. To be normal. He just wants to be like everyone else. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure there's... There are people who actually like prefer to be a centaur. I think that's the right term. Steve, Steve is the actual name of the species, but yeah. Steve, thank you. Well, I'm out of stamina, which is making this very complicated. There we go. It's the good news, we're mostly fire. So remember how Stranger said, I need this surgery to survive, not I need this to live. Ah, uh, that makes way more sense because the Steves are being hunted. So if he gets rid of, uh, stops himself from looking like a Steve, they won't be hunting him. He'll just be treated uh, well, normally. Just, yeah, they'll just think he's a dude. Someone in chat pointed out, uh, you totally said this surgery was back on one street. You were very close. Yeah. Give up, Steve. Yep, no vacuum. Hey, where the fuck am I supposed to go? The hell? Oh, the window, probably. Yep. That was why I couldn't tell what to do. Jesus. Just happened to catch you playing Strangers at 3 a.m., John. It's my all-time favorite game. Wow. So this is uh, this is certainly a treat for me. Well, good news, we still got uh, 40 minutes-ish left for the for the gameplay part of stream tonight, so... Still got a little bit more to see tonight. Ha okay, for those who know the game... Uh... Where do you think we are, times, like, percentage-wise? Uh, this feels like 65... 70... This is definitely, I can see why they said, like, the game changes at this point. Well, yeah, so now... I just assumed that. <laughs> so now. Whoops, all right, well, I'm taking that money. Sixty, seventy-ish, four to five hours left-ish. So yeah, so we might finish it next stream or get really close. According to a guide, you were in chapter 13 of a 17 chapter walkthrough, okay. fast now. Damn. I know I'm a Steve. I'll never be able to I think I'm gonna hop off and oh, you uh, picked the worst time to talk, dude. I can't hear him. 
Oh, sorry. Damn. Sorry. Tired. Gotta get some rest. All right, think you're good. Sorry. No worries. Uh, I'm actually just hopping off for the night. All right, thanks for being on. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for having me. Night, Grunzo. Night. Night. The mask remove, a nemesis revealed. Uh, best to get moving. So here's a better question. Who saved him? That's the thing I'm wondering. Like That means at some point we're getting our gear back because they specifically took the gear. Okay, can't go backwards. Yep. Huh, not gonna lie. What an interesting twist. Well, the Oddworld games were always super interesting from what I've heard, so. The question is now, what are we doing? I heard Walmart. Oh. Take this. Yeah, I hear Walmart. Received armor from the natives. Your crossbow has also been returned to you with three upgraded ammo types. It's the ones I already bought. <laughs> so... So now what? We gotta go back in... We go back and get, get rid of the guy that uh, tried to mess with us in the f that we tried to get the money from in the first place. Hmm. No rockin'. Find a boat around here. The boat's safe, man. It's in an ancient cave uh, behind a waterfall. Uh -huh. Oh my God! Wall Vark. Yeah, we're we're just a we're just a centaur now. Yep. We can, we can move way faster now, though. Because you're not restricted. Yep. We stock our skunks. Just realized what ammo was on that slot. So now at this point, is it now just 
Are you now just no more bounties? It's just all kill mode? I don't know. Uh... In chat, don't answer that. My money's gone. They even took your money? What kind of bullshit is this? My money's gone and all my upgrades are gone. Oh. 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 Interesting. Okay. Bag Wolvarks to feed your breeder bag and increase your supply of ammo. I don't know if that's just what it used to say there. Please don't cry. I'm not gonna cry, but I'm just like, really? Oh well. So, I guess then that means we don't need bounties no more. I mean, if I don't need bounties anymore and I can just murder... Eh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Time to go get some bees now. I'm not gonna say no to just, just free murder. Well, I mean, in this case, anyways. That means I can just go to ham with like the explosives and stuff now. And that also means the bees are actually going to be important now. If that's the case, anyways. You feed enemies to your ammo to make more ammo. It's great. That's what that bag does? I mean, we'll find out. I'm sure the game's gonna explain it in a bit. They've been pretty good with tutorializing stuff. And since this seems to be a significant change, I assume that it's going to persist. Like the bag said, you could still couch outlaws alive. You just capture them for a different purpose now. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's a pretty weak explanation, but I mean, whatever. Okay, well, let's go kill an enemy and let's go feed him. So, who wants to be the first victim? Now the title of the game makes sense. Now it's time for some wrath. Oh, do we get to kill Clucker McCluckster? Maybe. We'll find out if we can get there. Camille, no. No. You are excluded. One thing the game doesn't say, alive or dead, you get the same amount of ammo, so murder or capture as you wish. So it does not matter if I do live captures anymore. I'm gonna be real. I think the live captures was the hardest part that we've been doing about this. So if I can go fucking whole ham, I'm probably going whole ham. Then yeah, I think at this point... Execute Order 66. You know what? Considering the ammo I'm missing is the explosive rounds, I'm gonna assume that's that's probably why they took it away from me. <laughs> yes, my lord. 
It's time to cause chaos and mayhem. Is that, is that next to Is that just the... No, that's the knockout rounds. Okay. It's gonna be a barbecue, all right. Ammo chow. Wow. Okay, we're here. And off you go, bye. Well, I was gonna get his body for ammo, but uh, fuck if I know where he is. Oh, there it is. Oh, so it's just a random ammo each time, apparently. Oh, jeez. That's true, I haven't used this either. There's no point. You can't collect money, so fuck it. Oh my god, that animation is so much faster and ridiculous now. Well, then, fuck it. Destroy that without explosives. This is very triumphant music. Ha 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 ha! Get him! Well, it's a good thing we have all this nice uh, coverage area. Bosses don't really l realize they could try and charge when there's only one person, but whatever. I mean, fuck it, please. <laughs> fuck it, bees. <laughs> My eyes. My eyes. I think you've lost everyone there, sir.
Man, this is some epic music. Yeah, it really is. It's, it feels like you're like at final stage when it's like, I don't think you are. Really? Is that, that doesn't detonate that? Okay. Well, then in that case, back to electricity. Much better. Ah, uh, traps. Oh, man. That was Jerry. He only had two more days. Watch this. Okay. Oh, that's me. Do it. Ooh. I think that's how we say. Tede. Triple. I've been wanting to do that all game, but I was trying to capture everyone alive. Not anymore. And that's what I call a triple kill. Or was that overkill? One of those. Uh, I mean, it both works, I feel. Well, at this point, it's like... Guess try and so. bait them under... Well, if you're all gonna go under it a second time, y'all are idiots. Well, that sucks for Frank. All right, all right, it's up. We should be fine now. Oh, oh shit! He shit. actually killed him. Now they're pretending to shoot me. Oh right, I went back to having the bees on that slot. How did that explosion not kill you? Yeah, that's a good question. How did that explosion not get him? <laughs> ah, crap. This time they see me. Then they'll just run towards you. You put them under the trap and then you go goodbye. Do do. Dog's done yet? Not sure yet. No, oh, that actually did get him. Thought I missed. Oh, nice. It just seems like this area is gonna miss. It's mostly just telling you, hey, focus on traps, focus on like bringing like huge groups around, then like set it off to kill like a lot of people. Ooh, I'm out of aim on that. Here's a problem. Now that I'm playing so completely differently, like it's actively affecting how I play the game, and I'm running out of ammo faster. Well, that's what I mean. I think they want you to play more reserve. And then just restock like ammo when you can, and then. Have I played Abe's Oddworld? No, I've not played any of the other Oddworld games. No, 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 no. Man, that is stamina. Yeah, I still gotta somewhat play this the same way I was.
I guess now I have the ramming ability, which is a bit more helpful than the weird ass like headbutt they gave me before. True, true. The headbutt was essentially useless. <laughs> Strike. Yep, yeah, just gotta remember that I have that ability. Fuck me. Yeah, Dan, I didn't expect the twist, I will admit. shot come from oh boy okay good well, that'll work oh, well bye Secto Springs. I cannot read that. You need the best in. Yeah, I can only read some of the words. Yeah. When you need the best. No, you with the face. No. No name. Oh, a lot of ammo. There's my exploding rounds. I, I think that's what they just gave me. Yes, they're back. I only have three of them, but... Just grab whatever you can. Go from there. Okay, what do we got to deal with in here now? Nope, that's not it. Got to fight through this place. Get to that boat. Got to get to that boat, pilgrim. Oh, well, we got to get to the waterfall. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I'm guessing now I'm also going to struggle to find native just ammo around the map. Because now, uh, do this with people instead for ammo. Yeah, probably. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, that's a bad place to stand, John. Was that? Oh shit, oh shit. You're good, you're good, you're good. Uh, the problem is I keep running out of stamina now. Yeah, wow, this does become a completely different game at this point. Jesus. Hi, John. I remember when you played Worms with Psych. Oh my god, that's going back a ways. God, I miss playing that with him. That was fun as hell. Welcome to the stream, Chimera. Uh, is it Chimera UI? Or is it Chimera GUI? 
This one's a, this is a quiet night here, so we're because we're doing Odd World, and also it's you know pretty late. But we and it's about, game We only got like 15 minutes left on uh, on game clearing for the night, anyways. Someone's pooping. <laughs> oh, we're actually in a bathroom. I was like, that's an interesting take, and never mind. I love just standing in full armor, just, you know, in a bathroom. <laughs> just in a stall. Just chilling. That's a big ass stall, Jesus! Hi. This is even. Okay, there's one dot left on the map. Oh, I turned around. That's why. Shit. Hey, I will be right back. Go I need a guess. I guess I have explosions now. Explosions that apparently did not kill him. Weird. Come on over here. Okay, maybe not the wisest decision I could have made there. Use the oh, because he's not downed. I really feel like that. Oh, that one did kill. Okay, good. It, do, it does seem like you're right, Seraphim. It does not look like it's giving me any extra ammo uh, for getting them dead or alive. So it does seem like I can just kind of do whatever I want. Just sucks that they took away half my ammo capacity. All right, I'm back. You haven't missed much. You haven't missed much. I could tell. Good explosions. Then what is even? I'm kind of curious to see how this game plays out now. Like, all right. Well, now it's actually a revenge story. Now there's wrath. From we the try and play. <laughs> now it's like, oh, we we I captured every one of you alive. Now you get to die. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm not trying to make money anymore. I'm gonna smash them wall parts there. Think of this part as New Game Plus? Eh, I, I get the logic. Did you live? Get down. There we go. Everything 
Everything's restocked. How much is even left of this area, though, is the only question I have. You know what? Fine. I actually am asking this. How much is left of this area? I know I'm not exactly jamming through here speed-wise, but... Why is... Do you want to try that again, Gex? <clears throat> yeah, um... I can't remember what I was gonna say, cause I... My own... Like, I was about to say something and all of a sudden... Spit decided to just be like, nap, and nah, I'm just gonna make me, me just choke my own word. <laughs> What I was about to say was, it, we must be. Oh, nope, nope. I'm gonna shut up. Oh, come shut on! Up. What even shot oh. me? Oh, the guy behind me. Fuck. <laughs> how far back? How, uh, I was about to ask, uh, how far back are we? It feels like the library section in Halo. Oh. Uh, you know what? You're kind of right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, I that prop. Think of it that way, but now that you put it that way, it's like, oh god, I can't unthink that. Keep me from getting to that boat cave. Yeah, that's a good question. How did he get behind you? The explosion might have actually put him behind me. Maybe. The library in Halo was actually good. Oh, don't get me wrong. It was fantastic. First time playing? Oh, it's... Ooh. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, Dan. I'm not a fan of the library. I think it's mainly because of Guilty Spark, though. Oh, God. Fuck. Speaking of Halo, I can't wait. Uh, the update where the campaign is a, is where the co-op campaign will actually get added. I, I'm looking super excited. I would love, I would love to do like a campaign co-op stream of Halo Infinite. Ooh, beautiful! That was disgusting. I probably should have done that first instead of stunning him first. But yeah, you know, teach their own. Steven and Mal would agree with you, John. Yeah, I think I think libraries like because here's the thing: Halo One has a lot of repeating sections and a lot of long areas. The only reason library feels more exasperated is entirely because of three four three. Guilty Spark just makes it feel like way longer because he's like either spaced out or just being annoying. I think without him, library wouldn't feel as annoying. No. Oh, they're long. Oh, there's more ammo behind you. Oh, I know, but I'm more worried about the guys that have been shooting me from these railings that made us do all that over. You know what I mean? Yeah. By the way, I don't think your question ever got answered. Hmm? How much more was left of this level? Oh, yeah, I don't think anyone actually answered that. Oh, okay. I love Guilty Spark, his little hums and silly sayings. The actual library level design is mind-numbingly repetitive, and it's the only part of repetition I don't like in the game. Mm. I think, so here's the thing. I think Guilty Spark, is, I'm trying to think of like, he kind of has been done better in other games, but like, I, I realize what I was thinking is a better done version of Guilty Spark are the, um, the, comp the, uh, what the hell are they called? The personality the cores from Portal. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the personality cores from, uh, from Portal are a much more tolerable version of 343. Although they're more written to be, hu they're more written to be humorous, which may be why I like them more.
Also, you know, space. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. God, there's a game I haven't played in a while. Either portal. I, j I can't remember, I saw this, but it's probably late night. But I saw, like, like one of the portal writers, or a, the portal writer, really wants to do, like, write a Portal 3 or something. I I think it was just one of those opinion things. But I swear I saw, like, an article about that. I mean, I'm sure you could write a Portal 3. It's just what direction do you take it in? I don't find anything in, uh, about Goose Park annoying. Really, he's creepy and a nerd and he makes me laugh. See, I think the problem is, I know people exactly like that that do bother me. So I think maybe it's just a personal association. I don't know. I'll, also, admittedly, I haven't played Library in a long time, so I, maybe I'm misremembering how Guilty Spark is. I just remember when I saw him appear, or another Spark appear in a different game, I was like, oh, I like an audible groan came out of my mouth. You did see that. He wants Valve to make a Portal 3 before he retires from writing. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> so the climax for Halo 3 cathartic for you? Uh, a little bit. I won't say no. Which one? The original? Halo 3. Sorry, the audio cut out, so I... Oh, I, oh fair, I, enough, fair enough, fair enough, okay. So I was like... I was like, how'd you miss that part? No, that's fair. Yeah, they specifically said Halo 3. So which one? Vidmaster Challenge style, or... Just plain? I prefer doing it with the ghost. I never did any Vidmaster stuff. Oh, okay. I only like I only beat Halo Three like like years later because me and G played through it. So like G's the only reason I beat Halo Three and Four. Oh, we did Four on Legendary, but we did a three-player Legendary co-op. So. And you've never you've never played ODST, right? Uh, we've played it on stream a bunch, but we have never like. You never actually beat it. Up. No. no. ODST and Five, I think, are the only core Halo games I haven't finished. I've beaten That's one, why. two, three, four, and reach. <laughs> That's why I want to do a co-op stream of ODST. It's so good. Because it was... Because it's actually really cool, like, especially, like, if you do, like, some of the side stuff. And by side stuff, I mean there's, like, a kind of a hidden little story about it. It's really good. And then that was also the mode that introduced Firefight, or the game that actually introduced Firefight. Oh, <laughs> fuck that Vidmaster Challenge. Which one? So in ODST, um, so a little backstory. So in Halo 3 multiplayer, John, have you, you, have you ever seen like the recon armors? Yes. Okay. So... At the time, when ODST was out and the mythical map pack was coming out for Halo 3, um, you could have you could get the recon armor set that was only exclusive to the developers. So, but in order to do that, you had to complete the Vidmaster challenges in Halo 3 and ODST, along with finding all the mythical skulls in the multiplayer map packs for mythical in, in the mythic map packs. That's time. Yeah, well, I mean, let's at least finish this story beat. So, so what you did is you would literally complete all the Vidmaster oh. challenges for cutscene. Sure of what? Uh, uh, you know, you're kind of small. 
for a thief, you know. But uh, only a thief can make it past them wall marks like you did. Must have been really cool to see. But anyway, only a great warrior like a thief gets a really cool thief boat like this one. It is our only boat, man, so yeah, take care of it. <laughs> Yeah, it's broken. A boat? That's a scrap of junk. It's a, it, it's a great boat. You'll see this. We'll, we'll fix it for you, man. We'll, we'll get it. This guy is it. high off his mind. Uh, the village is under attack. They're back. Check those demons' forces. They're back. To stop our heads into the ground like grapefruit. Uh, you gotta help us, man. You're the only Steve we've seen since Secto came. Who knows what he did with our old Steve, but the only one who has a chance of defeating his forces and bringing back our water is you. You're our only hope, man. So uh, go out to the tunnel, and there you'll find how to get to our village. And hey, that boat will be waiting for you all oh, fixed when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> you received the riot oh. slug. The ammo was very effective at close range, killing most enemies in one shot. So there we go. We got an ammo upgrade now. Heavy damage knocks down enemies. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, I do think this is probably the perfect place to stop for the night. Especially since our alarm went off. Do you want me to finish that story? Uh, yeah. Give me a give me a second though. Uh, chat question for those who know: Do you think we can beat the game next week? Assuming normal length stream. You can you can go for your story now. So, one of the vidmaster challenges in ODST's firefight was you had to complete a, tw I do believe, the 20 round set. So literally the last, um, the last set was literally almost all skulls on except iron. So essentially think of it like a semi lasso except in a firefight. Gross. Yeah, that was back then. And at the time, too, when ODST was out, nobody knew about how to do it more effective. I first got it on the small Oni map, for those of you who know. But there's actually a map that you can do that's much more, much, much, much fucking easier. But if you got all the Vidmaster challenges in both Halo 3 and in ODST, you got the recon armor set. It took me two weeks. I do not have the patience for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think you could. E I don't even think back. I don't even think now you could do it because all the servers are down. Well, the servers are down, so yeah, and it wouldn't matter. Beginning it for Halo Three. Yeah. Because it would. It wouldn't even be for like the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. Alright, schedule for the week again. Reminder, Wednesday is Mario Party Superstars with MC, uh, Motion Dan, and Attacking Toucans. Saturday is Fortune Cookie, the last Fortune Cookie for a couple weeks. And then Monday next week, we are hopefully wrapping up this game. Wednesday next week is up in... No, it's not. Uh, caught myself on that one. Hang on. Let me double check on my phone. Make sure I'm not misremembering. Yes, there is no stream on Wednesday next week because next week on Tuesday is the first of the bonus streams. Chaos Fortune Cookie with the crew. With the disc only crew. That week's actually a bit a bit wild in general if I'm looking at this. Because yeah, Monday, game clearing, Tuesday, Chaos Fortune Cookie. Sunday, that week as well. I'm actually over on Ailita's stream, co-comming with her. She plays through Kaiser Mario. And then on Saturday is Sticker Star with a Meal. So two bonus streams from Coliseum are next week. 
And then the week after that, the 7th of May, is when Xenoblade Chronicles starts. I can't believe you're finally, finally gonna play Xenoblade Chronicles. I mean, like, I've played the game, I just never got very far. Yeah, in case I, I, cause people are pinging me about it, in case I confuse people by the way I just said that, I mean this upcoming Sunday, the 24th. So, Sunday the 24th is Kaiza with Aelita. Monday the 25th, we wrap up Stranger's Wrath, hopefully. Tuesday the 26th, we wrap up... No, sorry, we do the first bonus stream for Chaos Fortune Cookie, and then on that Saturday, which I think is the 30th, we do uh, Sticker Star with the Meal Part 3. You guys are actually almost done with that game. Yeah, we're gonna. I don't think we're going to finish it this time around, but we're going to be extremely close. I think... I think, ironically, we might be close enough to finishing it that we could probably finish it in Coliseum next year, which I think is actually the perfect way for that to end. Don't forget that Let's Play with Reese on her channel starts when she gets back. Yes, I don't know if it's officially starting tomorrow or if it's going to be like Thursday, but Banjo-Tooie with Luka Jin is starting this week. So Reese and I will be playing through that together. How exciting. So that's double the Banjo content for me, because uh, Banjo-Kazooie is going on on TRG, and then uh, Banjo-Tooie is going on over on Lukajin's channel. All right, let's wrap everything up here. Uh, Vale Leaf says, what happened in the last 30 minutes? I was going to say, uh, who, if any, what? What happened in the last 30 minutes? I was going to say, who, if any, is your waifu Yu-Gi-Oh card? Mine is Silent Magician, level eight. I think I accidentally wrote a gay furry story again. I found the article of another UPS store exploding and burning down in Cali, California. Game recommendation, Toho, Blooming, Chaos 2. Because... Vale, are you okay? This is, that's some word salad out of those messages. Uh, I guess Dark Magician Girl, because I don't, know enough Yu-Gi-Oh cards to have a Yu-Gi-Oh waifu. And I'll, I'll keep the recommendation in mind and congrats on the gay furry story. <laughs> Again, as you've written. What did I just come back to? I just stepped away for a bit. Like what? What? Yeah, no, that's that's what the message was, basically. Okay, also, hi, Maniacal. Blue Eyes is right there, John. I didn't watch enough Yu-Gi-Oh! to know what the human form was. The dragon, though. Think, my man. Anyways. You don't waifu blue eyes human form? I don't know! That's my point! There's a human form of It's that? fucking spoilers for the story to go into details, which is why I'm being as vague as possible. Oh. Moving on. <clears throat> Board CO2 and um, uh, actually, yeah, I think that's the, the only egg that happened during the, the last segment here. So, board, I guess this egg goes to you, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the rando. Sure is. You will give me an wow, that one was quiet. Let me turn that one up. Oh, hi, Goofy. How are you? Oh, once I remember what the hell this one's named, because it's not actually a normal name. Yeah, so you will give me a Himitsu, I think is what that one's actually called. Uh, Alright, and with that, let's quickly go to Art Block, and then let's wrap up for the evening. The Block of Art. Three pieces in Art Block. Okay, three blocks of art. Piece number one. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm trying to understand this here too. Chapter, oh, never mind. now I know what it is. Chapter one, what the hecky? As soon as the progress bar filled up on my secret spy phone trademark, showed the footage of the most recent day. After scrubbing through several cameras, I found a strange blurb of footage. It showed a McDonald's employee throwing someone into one of the play, pace, play place tubes. I kept watching for her to crawl out, but she never did. Could this be why people are disappearing here? Are people being held captive in there? But no, that can't be it. The play place is still open. Kids were still playing in them even on the days uh, people disappeared. Yet, what else could it be? Something must be stuck, must be inside there, right? The only thing I can do is take a look inside the play place myself. What a pain. This was supposed to be a quick check, but checking the play place is going to take a while. I was supposed to move my hot sauce collection today. Ugh, I, whatever. I chose this path, I'm going to stick with it. Oh, I thought I was going to have a nice steady office job, but then I got good college grades and got scattered by the FBI, and now I'm searching a friggin' McDonald's play place. Whatever, I chose this path, and I'm just going to stick with it. It's better than my mission in the desert I had to do in 100 seconds. Now I'm just rambling. I have a job to do, and filibustering won't finish it sooner. Time to go into the multicolored hell that is the play place. To be continued. This is, again, it's the McDonald's dream done with, uh, with some uh, CG models. Yeah. Some 3D models. Thank you, Wesker, uh, for continuing this and fleshing it out more, apparently. Next up, speaking of fleshed out, I just bought this Rorschach test book. I'm just gonna chill and read tonight. But but it's a picture book. What are you getting out of this? I want to see what picture what what picture looks like a dog. I want to see what picture tells me about my relationship with my mother. I'm gonna learn about my mentality, and then when I go to therapy, they'll just tell me the results. It saves me time. Rosa, that doesn't make any fucking sense at all. I don't fucking care. I got free time and I want to spend my time reading my Rorschach test book. Where'd you even buy a Rorschach test book anyways? Went down to the bookstore. What bookstore? The Rorschach test book store. Why does a Rorschach test book store exist? Shut up. The casual Philip. Well, where else are you supposed to get a Rorschach test book? So hi, it's been a while, hasn't it? I was supposed to take a short break from John Versus and then life kind of got in the way, the shitty way. Oh no, I hope everything's okay, dude. But I'm back to make more art, if my motivation allows me. I'm I'm happy to see that you have taken this to its logical conclusion. Again, uh, this was this was specifically from Saturday stream, I think. I think this was Saturday stream. If it wasn't, it was like it was probably Wednesdays. Yeah, uh, we I did a whole bit about Rosa reading Rorschach test books, oh. and then it just it just devolved into slowly to the soup store bit. It was just chaos, and it's nice to see a comic of it. Hey, zoom in on the map. It says you are here. Oh, okay, because I was like, wait, there's writing on there. Hold on. I wonder if there's a hidden joke in there. Nope. Straight Damn. Forward. Damn. Thanks, Philip. Super, <laughs> super happy to see this. And the last one I have here for a refresh check. More chaos taken to its even more logical conclusion, apparently, from Raptoid. I know I've beaten this meme to death now, but I promise this is the last one for a while. Other people get inspired to make cute roses or, or cool games while I make this. Lol. At least you guys seem to appreciate my BS. I might try drawing robots again soon. Just try, been trying to find motivation to do anything other than low-effort BS like this. Either way, I hope you like it. Thank you, Raptoid, for Kirby, Dora, Matt Damon, Burger King. Or some variation of that order. Thanks, Raptoid. <laughs> and with that, folks, I think we are donezo for the evening. What's our raid message? I drawn a blank. Cut his pants off. <laughs> no. I don't know if we can do cut his pants off. What about what about Steve? Just emphasis on the Steve. Best boat ever is not bad. Best boat. Yeah, best boat ever. I like best boat ever. Best boat ever.
Alright. Uh, let's see who's even live. Andy. Oh, we haven't heard Andy in a long time. Patty's playing. Is he playing Banjo Kazooie? That looks like DK. No, actually, I think he's actually playing Banjo Kazooie proper. Yeah, he's actually playing Vanilla Banjo Kazooie, it looks like. Alright. Alright, well, let's go tell Patty about best boat ever. <laughs> what is what is that face on the bottom left? It's Patty's face. You ever seen Patty's face? <laughs> I I can't say that version, but you know what? what did the boat do to make it the <laughs> That's best? just my mood every day. Hello. Pizza All right. Time. Go give Patty some love. Go hang out with him. Enjoy some more banjo if you're not sick of banjo already, based on how much banjo you're gonna be getting in the upcoming weeks. Uh. And I'll catch you guys Wednesday. See you for some Mario Party. Bye, everybody. And everybody, be safe. Damn.